Thanks for tuning in to the NBA here on 2K Sports. Monday hoops coming up. It's the away team going up against the home team. It's great to be with you on this Monday afternoon. Welcome, basketball fans, to 2K Sports. I'm Damon Bruce. Friday Hoops Fest coming up next. It's. Hi, everyone. This is the NBA on 2K Sports for our Monday afternoon broadcast alongside Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for joining us. We've got a chance now for our starting lineups from point guard to center. This game should be a good one. And for the home team... Defended by Garrett. Here's Ramsey. It's rebounded by Azubuki. That's one he knows he should have made. Number one. And off there. He misses his first shot of the night. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. Well, that was a quick foul for him there. The refs are certainly calling it close. Here's Garrett, number 30. And the whistle blows, and it's going to be an over-the-back call here. Now, that's an aggressive play, trying to get that rebound. Maybe a little too aggressive. And it was totally unnecessary, Steve. He was in no position to get to that ball. He should have just conceded. Make a play, come on! Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. I briefly spoke with the home team's head coach. This is a team that loves to run, and he wants to see them do what they love. Fast break basketball should be on the menu today, guys. We'll enjoy watching it. And thank you for that, Doris. Come on, guys. Hit the line. That free throw, no good. He hits the second from the line. There's the pass to Moss. Number one. Number 33. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Both good from the line that time. Number 15. 
Off target with his three. Gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Dishes to Garrett. And just over a minute played here in the start of the game. Three pointer. Never. Not looking good for him so far. Four straight misses to start the game. Ramsey passes to Edwards. Pass to Moss. Feeds to Garrett. Puts up a three. Good. Garrett's got his first three points of the game. Well, he needed that one finally. That's just one of five now overall. Had to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Three misses to start the game. Still trying to break the seal on that hoop. Passes it to Moss. They get it down. He dishes it to Garrett. From the arc. That's good. Great outside shooting fueling this run. And the defense getting bombarded. They just haven't been able to slow him down. Number 15. Number 25. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. First trip to the line for him here. You got this, baby, yeah! And he makes the first. It's all about consistency with him. Same routine, same stroke. Number 30. And change shot. Smooth as silk on the finger roll. Brought back the finger roll. That's a nice finesse move to pull off with the defense all over. Clark, some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, they need a basket just to regain some momentum here, Kevin. Still can't quite get anything to fall after five tries. Here's Moss. It's hauled in by Edwards. Gone 0 of 5 here. Start the game. Must start for them. Number 25. Defended by Moss. The pass to Edwards. Number 15. No good with the triple. And that's a shot you can't pass up. He should knock that down. Has to Moss. It's tipped. Tries to keep it alive. On him to go all the way. Oh, the kind of moment to love to see. Excellent defense leading to a dunk at the other end. Clark, you've got to marvel at the transition game when they've got it quick and it's really explosive. High octane for sure. Oof. They're turning defensive pressure into offensive opportunities. That's what it's all about. Fires the three. Number 33. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. Six points for him. You know, they've been doing an excellent job, Kevin, on the offensive boards here. Keeping the ball alive and then converting those second chances when they get it. Number 15. Off target from three-point range. Things have kind of gone south for him here in the quarter. Number one. No good off the front either. I thought he'd make that one. And that's his range in the defense. Nowhere to be seen. Edwards can't hit. Well, he won't miss many of those. Especially with the defender not in the best of positions yet. And deep. He throws it down with the quick putback jam. This is just great anticipation. The putback jam. Oh, he had some big time intentions right there. And those plays will give your team a huge boost. Edwards, that's good. Now, they're not showing too much respect for him defensively, are they? Pass to Moss. Goes up on the wing. Misses it for a time. In terms of rebounding, it's been a sensational opening quarter. I like sensation. That's a good word for it. And the next foul will put them over the limit and in the bonus. A chance to get some easy points at the line here, so it makes sense to be aggressive. Three, and the inbound. No. 
31% here early on. Not getting the shots they'd like. He kicks to Garrett. Trying his luck deep. Can't get it to go. And there's the pass to Renz. And that shot misses everything. Air ball on the three. Pulls up on the wing. Let's it go from deep. It's all in by Edwards. Got one three-pointer tonight in four tries. Makes the lead pass. Number 25. The layup off target. You see the defenders get out of his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the bucket, but not that time. Takes a three. The shot misses. He's been wayward and just off on about everything he's put up in this period. Pass to Ramsey. Now it is defended by Moss. And no good from Ramsey. You know, even though he missed that three-point shot, I think the defense has to do a better job of challenging the shot. Yeah, because you know if you continue to give up open looks like that, well, you're in big trouble. Passes it to Edwards. He's rebounded by Garrett. Garrett's got his third rebound on the night. The pass to Moss. Off target from outside. Now, he hasn't been able to make anything this quarter. Number 25. Hits it from three-point range. He has five. Got a little mini slot there to start the game. This is first three, and maybe this one will get him into a groove here. And as you said, they've been active on the offensive glass. Boy, and that's something I love to see, Kevin. As a former offensive rebounder myself, I know how demoralizing it is for the opponent when you get a second chance and you put it in the basket. Gone one of three from deep tonight. Come on, Tries to snap the cool streak. Can't get it to go. There's no getting around the simple fact that that's a shot he has to knock down. Number 22. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. Thing pretty grave so far. About 23%. Ron. And the first shot of the night for him, no good. is a three. The shot no good. Number one. Defended by Clark. Can't cash in from close range. And this has not been a quarter for him to remember. Yeah, it sure hasn't, Steve. I mean, he's been doing his invisible man impersonation here, hasn't he? Number one. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. There's the pick. Takes the three. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. He got a great read of where that miss was going, and that allowed him to be the first guy to it and get the putback. Number 15. Rebounded by Azubuki. And he's having all sorts of problems with his shot. I'm not sure he even has a shot right now, Steve. To be quite honest. Not a reliable one, anyway. Boy, you hate to see that fouling the three-point shooter. You know, there are a lot more free throws made than threes every season. I mean, make him earn it from deep. Don't foul him. second and he nails the 
Walker. We've got 155 left to play in the first quarter. Shoots a three, and it's sent back by Azubuku. That's the three fly, and the shot is good. He's got five. Well, I'm not necessarily a big fan of him shooting that shot, but they did give him the space. Number 15. And nothing is falling for him right now. In a near 25% for the floor in this first quarter. A baseline J. Number 13. Carries it from three-point range. Wow, he's got such a sweet three-point stroke. The way he can shoot it, forcing opposing bigs out on the perimeter, can really open up the lane. And they need a timeout, Kevin. They haven't been boxing out like they need to. And they're giving up a ton of second-chance points. On defense, the visitors. They lead by 14. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Trailing here in the game, you can look at his performance as a direct indicator of why they're losing. Number 30. An offensive rebound. Second shot opportunity. Azubuki. No good. They're really on their heels at this point. And really at both ends of the floor. Nothing seems to be going their way. There's the block. Braun misses the three. Gone one of four so far. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. The tray. The shot is off. Not a good look at the hoop. They've got to do a better job offensively creating some space. attributed to the early foul trouble. The 10 foot misses off the right hand. Very porous defense down there by the hoop. He probably should be down. And the release was before the buzzer, but it's off target. And as the first quarter wraps up, already a double digit lead. The away team, they lead by 14. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. Well, not exactly a close game so far, but as the second quarter starts here, plenty of time for a comeback. Yeah, the defense has been terrific. They came out right from the beginning, alert and focused, and they've been really good at that end of the floor. And I think Coach has to be pleased with the effort, Steve. And around 24%, not a good showing here. Number one. To Mark there with the three-point shot. There's a screen. You know what? Well, he defended the shot, got back in the play, and grabbed the board. Nice play. From past the arc. Here's Azubuki. Number 30. No good for not so. Even with every shot clanging off the rim, he seems determined to keep hoisting up these three. It might be time to get inside of that arc. Gone 0-3 and are still looking for that first bucket here in the second quarter. From downtown, the shot misses. 
He's trying to shoot his way out of it, guys. And as long as they're in the lead, he's going to continue to try to find his rhythm. Number two. Come on, Chad. Off the mark. Got nothing but zeros from long range in the second quarter. All of four. Drawn. Three pointers off the mark. And we're now about a minute and a half into the second quarter. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, cold stretch offensively. They desperately need a basket. The three. The shot is off. Not able to find it here in the second. He's off stride and off track just a bit after that one he had earlier. Really left alone that time. Clark's got his first two points. Now it's about time somebody scored. This is ugly. Yeah, grit and grind ugly. That's how I would describe it. Every bucket counts double in a game like this one. Or at least it should count double. Well, and the bounce pass was the key to the play. He needs to get them back into a flow offensively. You know, things have gotten stagnant for them, and they're starting to force some of these shots. And that can snowball on you. One guy takes a bad shot, then another guy does, and then you're missing back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back shots, and all of a sudden, you have no rhythm and you're self-inflicting wounds. And so there's the home team. In the second quarter, they've given up just three points. Expanding his range. And in the paint, they have really shown some strength. Their work on the boards has been phenomenal. Yeah, I'd certainly call it a mismatch, Steve, at least for today. But they get a ball. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. So he hits one of two from the strike. Draw one of six from the field in the second quarter. It's been a rough period so far. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. And that one's good. That's his first triple of the game. It was a dry first half for him from long range. Being a rough 22% so far in this one. Garrett, the pass to Moss. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. He's yet to make an impact from the field, but his team is taking care of business. Yeah, the referee's all over that one. No doubt about it. Clearly a foul. Nothing to argue about there. Easy point. Come on. And the first one goes. second so he makes them both and for those of you just joining us we're in the second quarter with about three minutes gone by now the dish to Garrett three pointer and the shot is good Garrett's got eight points gone only two of seven from the field since the second quarter got underway there's the triple good starting to get a little momentum here after that scoreless first quarter Braun, beyond the arc. That's good. He's got eight. How about that for a response? They will say they can give the three as well as they can take the three. Number 15. A three-pointer, no good. Thing in the second quarter has been pretty embarrassing, just 27%. Pass to Moss. There's the three. Can't hit. 
gone just 33% from the field in what's been a cold second quarter for them. Just three of nine. Number one. Offline with his three. Here's Garrett. Eight points for him. Braun. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. He's made two of his three attempted tonight. First free throw is good. It seems like they're having a lot of trouble at the line today, and it's just been that kind of a day. from the strike. Passes it to Edwards. Puts up a three. It's rebounded by Azubuki. Azubuki's got ten rebounds here tonight. So active. Can't hit. Number two. It's rebounded by Moss. He'll advise shot selection right there, Clark. It really was. I mean, very low percentage shot there. Number 25, defended by Moss. Number 15, very good on the three. Boy, I tell you what, the complexion of this game would be completely different if he shot the ball anything like he's capable of. The baseline J. That is good off the back rim and in. He's got 12. You start hitting a few of those mid-range shots, and it can open up your whole game. Number 25. And again, unable to change momentum here. Being a disastrous 25% from the field so far. Now the pass to Moss. Uncovered. Offensive rebound. A second chance effort. How that hit. Number 25. And a great job by the D contesting that shot and forcing the miss. Here's Garrett Edwards defending. Number 30. Here's Azabuki. It's held in by Edwards. It's rebounded by Garrett. Garrett's got his fifth rebound in this one. The feather touch on the finger roll. Beautiful. Garrett's got five points now this quarter. He's created some good opportunities for himself and made the most of them. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time getting the lid off the basket so far. Come on, box him out, man. Number 30. It's hauled in by Edwards. Well, I tell you what, that's too good a look to pass up there. Even though it didn't go, that's what you got to take. Make it two hands for safety. That's what they say, right, Kevin? Yeah, that's right. You got it. And he was also safe with that dunk. <laughs> no reason not well, to be. He might as well remove all doubt, right? Here's Garrett. Ten points for him. Here's Moss. And a three off target. Well, most games he can knock it down from deep, but it just isn't there for him in this one. Number 15. And it's off from three-point range. Braun, Edwards defending. Pass to Moss. Number 30. Here's Azubuki. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. And no question, he got bumped on that shot. Definitely no room for discussion on that one. He's made one and missed one so far in the game. He misses the free throw. Yeah. 
and he misses the second one as well, so he is 0 for 2 that time. Rams defended by Garrett. They get a hand on it. They set the pick. Number 30. Good on the three-point shot. He's got nine. Well, the defense not doing a good job at all of getting after him. They've got to crowd him and make it tough for him. That's his second this quarter. He's forcing shots offensively, hurting his team in the process. He needs to trust his teammates more. Go back to Oklahoma. Number 22, and fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. Easy call there. No question about that one. You could hear the impact from where I am. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. Come on, you can get it, And the first one at the line is good. Even though they're trailing, they're, they're having some success from the foul line here, and that could go a long way towards getting them back into it. He doesn't get the second one. Being a putrid 25% from the field. Poor shot selection all around. Down it goes, jamming that one home. A strong finish coming right on the heels of that offensive rebound. Harkey went immediately back up with it. I yeah. love the quickness there. Yeah, and that's how to do it. Take advantage of the D that's out of position after that initial shot. Here is Edwards. Five points in the game. No good from Ramsey. Boy, but he was close, Kevin, to making the defense pay for lackadaisical coverage there. Yeah, he had a really good look. I mean, he will not that enough. Launches it. And that one's good. All right, he's going to keep banging those home if you give him that much space. And the measly 26% in the second quarter. Knocks it loose. They set the pick. Here's Edwards. Hands it from downtown. Eight points for him. And they've set up countless buckets off assists. That's a huge part of what they've been doing here today. A lot of dime dropping going on out there, Steve. Braun. They get it back. Number 33. Can't get the reverse layup to fall. Not too much congestion in the lane. I think he could have gotten a better shot that time. No question. The shot's good for Ramsey. Forty seconds left to play in the first half. The feed now to Garrett. He passes to Moss. Barry's the long-range jumper. You know, something might have changed in the way they're defending him because he's really struggling. One for seven this quarter. Pass it to Ramsey. He tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. He has not been on his game. And you know, their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not helped the situation. Kicks it to Garrett. The pass to Moss. That three off the mark. Here's Ramsey. He got it up that time, but it wouldn't fall for him. A dominating first half of basketball, and so far hasn't been close. The away team leading by 17. We'll add the start of the third quarter for you shortly. But first, it's the Sprint Halftime Show with Damon Bruce. And now, brought to you by Sprint. This is 2K Sports. I hope your week is off to a good start on this Monday. The away team scorching hot in the first half. Anybody finding it difficult to breathe in here? Maybe it's because the defense has been suffocating. And for the home team, they've been struggling a bit. Their terrible field goal percentage dragging down their whole game. they got to find a way to take the lid off. And that'll do it for us here in the studio. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of the game. 
The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. And we welcome you back to the NBA here on 2K Sports. If you're just tuning in, this is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. And we're ready to get going once more. And the players have a chance to have a short break and get some rest themselves and get refueled and hydrated with some Gatorade. More terrific basketball in store for us tonight. And the officials call over the back a little too aggressive there. Well, you like it when a guy goes hard to the boards, but you have to be smart. He went over, right over his back on that one. Not, not a good play. I think he was just over anxious that time. He feeds it to Azubuki. It's stolen. Looking to get it going. And he sinks the layup. He's got seven. That's kind of his strong suit. The ability to find his way through the defense and finish at the rim. For three. It's Clark with the rebound. Thing like 21% from the field so far. Lost to Ramsey. That's it five. Pins the shot from the wing. Here's Garrett. Watch out, Sam! From beyond the arc, shot is off. That's not how you want to kick off the second half with three straight missions. Passes it to Ramsey. And that one off the back of the rim and in. That's their third straight make off in the sixth. Boy, the ball movement's been fantastic here the last few possessions. Dishes it to Garrett. The three ball gets it to go. Garrett's got 13 points. That one goes down, but offensively, just one of four to start the third quarter. Pass to Clark. Number 25. Five games are back, but that three is off the mark. Gun just one of their first four shots to fall since coming out of the locker room at the break. Number 30. And a miss there on the triple. One for five on offense. A slow start here in the second half. Here's Ramsey. He kills it from outside. He's got 14. This guy will really make you play if you leave him enough room outside. Going to a shot here from three point range. Shooting just one of five here in the third. And the pass to Moss. And he can't answer back. The three pointer offline. Gotten four of the first five second half shots to fall. 80 percent since the break. No good for Ramsey. That's a shot he's got to hit. I mean, you don't get too many better looks from that range. Pass to Moss. Lots of room. That short off the rim. Ramsey defended by Garrett. Here's Ramsey. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. And around 24%. Not a good showing here. Feeds it to Garrett. Number one. Knocks down the three ball. And that kind of defense is just not going to cut it. Guys, they have to get a hand in his face. Being on 57% from the field in the third. Well, they've really kind of struggled offensively here. So I think this timeout is for him to really draw something up, maybe get an easy two and get their confidence back. You know, sometimes an easy basket out of a break is just what you need to get things back on track. And coaches always have plays specifically for that situation, coming out of timeout for an opportunity to get a bucket. And now with three minutes in the third quarter play. And play stops as it looks like they call him over the back here. Well, that's an aggressive play trying to get that rebound. Maybe a little too aggressive. And it was totally unnecessary, Steve. He was in no position to get to that ball. He should have just conceded. He dishes it to Kick Garrett. It out. Kick it out. He kicks it to Azubuki. And there's the feed to Garrett. And the miss, not the best shot selection there. And around 24%, not a good show here. Let's it go with a three. Edwards can't hit. Gone three of nine shooting. There's the dish to Garrett. From deep, that drops. Garrett's got 16 points. He's putting on a commanding performance here. He's hit two three-pointers in each half now. Passes it to Ramsey. Down low, number 22. Goes back up. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Three trips to the line so far for him in this one. You 
No good on the free throw. This time, and second misses also. Balanced scoring, Clark and Steve for them. They're moving it well. Yeah, you love to see teams share the sugar. Everybody getting a touch, everybody enjoying the opportunity to score. That makes it a lot of fun for everybody on the court. Yes. You know, it sounds better when you say it than watching it. Okay? <laughs> I like better when you say it. Sharing the sugar. Well, right, Steve? <laughs> yeah, pass the cream, too. I mean, while you're at it. I mean, this has been something to watch. I mean, it, just everybody getting involved. Number one. And he can't stop the run as he misses. Being just 33% in the second half so far. They need to look at more high-quality shots. Braun. And he's knocked off course by the D. The foul called. He'll shoot free throws. He's had five chances at the line. Gone four for five. good on that one. And he sinks the second. Gone one of four and three-point shots here in the third. Jacks up a three, and the basket good. He's got nine. The visitors with the ball. 22 is their biggest lead. The pass to Moss. A three-pointer off the mark. Kind of rare to see him come up empty on a wide-open look. Against the three-pointer of the foul. As long as they keep spraying him from deep. We're going to have ourselves one exciting finish. Well, it took them a while, but they're finally starting to get some rhythm offensively on the outside. From outside the arc. Shot no good. Gone at a pretty good shooting pace. There's 6 of 13 from the field here in the third. Pass to Edwards. But three. The shot will not go. And about 26% out there. They need to get a better look. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Obvious foul. Yeah, he took a hit right there and earned those free throws. And he can't get the first one. the second. You don't see him have too many of those trips to the line. They set the pick. Pass to Ramsey. Off the pick. That one off the back iron and out. Really good offensive execution. Nice pick. Just couldn't get the shot to go. Boy, you love to see that as a basketball purist. The guy setting a good screen and then getting the shot off the two. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. And the defense fouling there to prevent that layup, forcing two free throws here. A nice job that time of attacking the paint and drawing the contact. They'll take that. Come on, you can get it! The first one falls. Both free throws. Trying to add a few more points to their lead. Simply need to just stay the course, Kevin. That's it. It's been a good course so far. Yep. Kicks to Garrett. Braun. He passes to Garrett. No good. I'm able to win this run. The pass to Rams. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Braun, defended by Ramsey. Get out. 
Six on the shot clock. Braun defended by Ramsey. And he bangs it home with one hand. Well, now they're just going to town on it. Yeah, you'd think these defenders would have done a little more to put a stop to that stuff. So far, no go. Well, a phenomenal area of soft there, guys. And that one's good. They just continue to splash home those threes. Eliminating the deep shot has to become priority number one for this defense. It really does. I mean, it's not possible to give up that many points behind the arc and not pay the price in the end. Number one, defended by Hero, gets it down to single digits. He has six. Oh, man, they needed a run to get back into this game, and they got it. And a good one, defensively and offensively. It's been a terrific stretch for him. Braun. They get it again. Tries again. Help that one. Going to the three-point shot eight times already in the second half. And hit four of them. Number one. Quick, 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 no good that time. Yeah, that's a low percentage shot right there. Yeah, it sure is. I mean, he's got to be thinking out there a little bit. Make the pass in that situation. Don't force a bad shot. Well, I think he had all the space he needed. He just couldn't find the bottom of the net. Fires from deep. Gets it to go. These defenders are putting up very little resistance to the three-point shot. And it's killing him. That's four of the last five baskets they've allowed have been three-pointers. He feeds it to get it. Braun, here's the three. The shot, no good. He had a couple in the first, but so far he's been unable to get uncorked here. Number one, the putback. That other miss, boy, they had their chance there, but couldn't get it to go. Being an ugly 27% since halftime. Braun. No good on the triple. Even though he isn't having the best of game from the floor, it hasn't seemed to hurt him. Get that bucket in in no time at all. He's got 11. Excellent ball movement there, guys. Yeah, I think that's what's keyed this run, Clark, because they're keeping the ball moving. The defense hasn't been able to set up. This is to do. Braun fires the three. Can't get it to go. 105 left to play here in the third. Number one. Off the left, ran up. Being a putrid 25% from the field. Poor shot selection all around. Feeds it to Garrett. Plenty of space. Shot is off. I think you got to find another way to contribute, Kevin, besides looking to shoot the ball. I mean, he just can't get anything to bounce his way this quarter. He's got to do other things. Pass to Ramsey. Tries a three. And they will call over the back on the play. Well, he's boxed out, and when that happens, you know, at some point, you have to just turn and get back defensively. That time, he went right over the top. Yeah, but you go straight on the top of another player's back, that's going to be a foul call every time. First free throw is good. to that time at the strike. Being a troubling 38% in the third. Not the finest work of this offense. Number 25. And the three ball is good. He's got eight. 23 seconds left here on the third quarter. He kicks it together. This one for three. As a bookie, this is together. Shoots the three. It's hauled in by Edwards. Number 25. Now he's just showing off the grades like that. That's what I call a profile. In terms of the profile. He's got unlimited range, and you can tell he is feeling it. Three quarters of play in a close game here. The away team up by one. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break.
All right, the fourth quarter of action getting underway. We've had a great one so far with both sides coming to play. Think just 28%. They are offensively out of whack and out of step with each other at this point. Passes it to Ramsey to take the lead. Perfect on the shot. Swishes it through. I give them a lot of credit. They didn't put the name behind. They really got a vacuum. This has been a very impressive rally. The question is, can they keep the pedal to the metal? Or will they run out of gas? No good. Offline from the top of the key. And around 24%. Not a good showing here. Number 30. Nips it. How about the effort we're seeing from him on the boards? He's already in double figures. Yeah, and more importantly, Steve, his rebounds are leading the team. To the middle. He's off the pick and hammers it home. That's basketball 101, guys. I mean, elementary. Use the screen to free yourself and then take it straight to the rack. Yeah, very nice set play for him. Well, that's using your head and using your body. Gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Moss. That one, a little long. Drawn 2 or 3 from the field to get the fourth quarter start. There's the pass to Ramsey. Number 15. Off line with his third. Gotten off to a rush start in the fourth quarter. Going 0 for 4 so far. He dishes it to Garrett. Number 1. Good on the three. Here is Edwards. Here's Ramsey. The leader. And it's blocked. Moss, the pass to Garrett. Number 30. Here's the three point. That gives him the double double 12 points and 13 rebounds. And we're around two minutes into the fourth quarter here. Number 15. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. And here they go. Pass to Moss. Solid play on the low block, and that one's good. Not sure how he got that pass off. I thought for sure he was going to take the shot. Here's Ramsey. Number 22, off on the lane. Excellent, really solid job, actually, by the defense to get in his way as he was going up for that one. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here, we're just over two and a half minutes into it. But he gets it back. That's a good thing down low. His hard work gives him another possession. Here's Moss. Nice D from Edward. Terrific defense at the rim. They got right in his path. You know, that's part of what great defenders do. They get not only in your path, but in your head a little bit, too. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. You got me. No problem. The first one falls. Kevin, that trip there was a good sign for him. He's been getting to the line often, but has been struggling to convert. Both shots good from the strike. He's been having a tough game from the free throw line, but finally he gets it done. Passes to Moss for the three. And the ball goes out of play following the shot. Gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Now the pass to Edwards. A three-pointer, no good. They've clearly been the better team on the glass. It hasn't necessarily translated to the scoreboard yet. But you feel like it's going to, to reward this team at some point. They've got to continue to maintain the energy. That one falls for 
Also Buki. Should be in front right now, but he'll be relieved not to have come up totally empty there. Number 25, and he's covered by Azubuki. Misses from the corner. Getting some tough luck from three-point range. In the fourth quarter, they've hit just one of six from deep. No good for Marks. He has not shot the ball well here, and I think it's, it's time for him to start looking for his teammates a little bit. And they call over the back here. Too much contact. Well, he gave the officials no choice there. Easy call. Went right over the top. Yeah, he's got to go straight up when he's under the boards in that kind of traffic. Can't chest first into the man in front of you. That's a foul. Number 25, defended by Moss. Number 15, offensive rebound. Lands another shot. Shot is off. Seems like he's gotten every single rebound today. Glass eating at its finest. I mean, you're not going to see a guy with 20-plus boards too often. That's an impressive number. And about 26% out there. They need to get a better look. Number 15. And he draws body contact. Looked like a blocking foul, and he was uh, in the shooting motion. So he'll head to the free throw line. He's off on the first. Good on the second free throw. Even with the miss, he got the big one there to put him in front. Here's Garrett. Pass to Moss. It's rebounded by Ramsey. Well, that was not a smart play there. That's a wild shot. They can get something better. No, that's not smart basketball. He should have passed that shot up. Here's Garrett. He tries for three. Can't get it to go. Oh, he's just launching from the three-point line right now because I don't like his shot selection at all. Number 15. Right off the mark. They have not led for a while a chance to do so here. Boy, they'd love to retake the lead right now. Seems like he's gotten every single rebound today. Glass eating in its finest. I mean, you're not going to see a guy with 20-plus boards too often. That's an impressive number. There's the screen. Off the pick. Number 33. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. get himself together here. I mean, something's going wrong with him this quarter. He's really falling off. Number 33. From outside, off the mark. Been a disastrous 25% from the field so far. Looking to end his cold spell. Can't get it to go. Great D that time from Marks. A finger roll finish at the bucket. And he's shooting two of eight. He just hasn't been able to give them any consistent scoring here down the stretch, guys. Here's Edwards. It's rebounded by Azubuku. Just a tiny lead for him. Yeah, but a chance to make it grow here. Number 33. And he's way off from outside. And there's the pass to Ramsey. Releases. And they get the rebound. Off target from the wing. Uh, he's missing a lot of shots out here. Offensively, he just has not been able to produce in this quarter. 
Garrett, the pass to Moss. On the way. Excellent D there from Edwards. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that's what I think. The offense is basically the running in place. They got to get going. And 23% from the field. That's not going to get it done. From deep. Here's Moss. Rejected by Ramsey. Here's Edwards, defended by Garrett. Here's Ramsey. And there's the whistle, fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. Well, at least the defender got his money's worth on that one. Yep, that was an easy whistle for the official. That free throw missing. Doris Burke has some information for us. Doris? Hi, guys. I got a chance to hear what the home team head coach was saying to his players. He said, no time to waste, fellas. We've got to pick it up right now if we're going to make a comeback and try to win this thing. Let's go all out. Back to you. And thank you, Doris. And the second free throw, good. He's made an effort to get into the defense a lot more by aggressively attacking the basket, and he's not shying away from the contact, which has given him some free throw opportunities. They're sending guys to the line way more than they should here. They need to play good position defense and avoid the reach-in sloppy foul. And 23% from the field. That's not going to get it done. Pass to Moss. Wide open look. Here's Ezebuki. Number 33. Persistence pays off as they finally hit a shot. Well, that's the way to get the board there. They've just been rebounding well all game long. Pass to Edwards. From the arc. That kickback cleans up the mess with the savage put that foot. He could have tipped it home, but he wanted to give this crowd something to remember. Dynamic work right there. Throw down that rebound. Yes, sir. Oh, no need to back it out if you're in position for the dunk. And the pass goes out of bounds, and they'll turn it over. That's not what they needed there, that's for sure. And around 24%, not a good showing here. Number 25. No good. That would have tied it. Has a boogie with the ball. The pass to Moss. Offensive rebound. And that one's good. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting in the paint. They keep scoring points. Keep it going. There's not a lot you can do defensively when they continue to get the ball inside and get these easy shots. for the contact right there. Easy point, come on! 
So the first one drops, and that brings them within five. And so Clark nails both of them. He was very composed on that trip to the strike. He's close to being a one-possession game now. He has to be concerned with all the missed shots. I mean, it happens to every team, but you have to find a way to keep being productive even when you go through a shooting drop. He might be trying to tell them to get to the free throw line. You know, all teams go cold at points during the game, but the good team still find ways to score. could be costly and a close one those kinds of mistakes can really give the other team momentum and 23 percent from the field that's not going to get it done now the feed to azabuki and there's the pass to moss Pops in the tray. a wide open three they need much better communication defensively and around 24 percent not a good showing here Edwards can't hit. Been a tough quarter for him. He has not been able to make a shot here. Pass to Moss. It is now to Garrett. Let's it go from the run. He hits Clark with the rebound. Well, it's going to be tough for them, but you have to continue to compete. It's not over. Just play. See what happens. Yep, you can't afford empty possession. Kevin, he's missing shot after shot after shot from long range. With time running low, he'd be better off trying something else. Kicks to Azubuki. Number 30, a follow-up champ. Well, that puts the nail in the coffin. A clinic in terms of how to play with the lead right there. Well, guys, what do you think? Well, this one's in the bag. I mean, I commend them for really putting forth the effort until the very end. But this thing's over. You know, sometimes you just have to throw up the white towel and let fate run its course so you can get on to the next game. Pass to Ramsey. All along. It's rebounded by Azubuki. He'll advise shot selection right there, Clark. It really was. I mean, very low percentage shot there. The visiting club takes the win on the road. Both teams played well, but these guys had the edge. Yeah, I think so. They were just steak knife sharp. Very on top of their game here. Well said. And that'll do it for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan saying so long and thanks for joining us as we leave you with the Jordan player of the game.
Welcome to NBA Basketball. This is 2K Sports bringing it to you live. Friday Hoops Fest coming up. And a good nature back and forth between the players while we wait to get this one underway. Broadcasting live, 2K Sports presents the NBA. It's Monday night. This is Kevin Harlan here with Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. Doris Burke has our reports tonight from the sidelines. And now a quick check of our starting lineups for both teams. And for the home team. Passes to Sutton. Shoots the three. The shot no good. Here's Powell. A three. Rebound by Williams. Pass to Sutton. Outside Williams. Three-pointer. And that one's good. And that's a nice way for his team to get started. Yeah, really nice start for his team to get out in front here. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. I briefly spoke to the home team's head coach. This is a team that loves to run, and he wants to see them do what they love. Fast break basketball should be on the menu today, guys. We'll enjoy watching. Thank you, Doris. And here comes the break, number 22. And so he draws the foul on the shot, a trip to the line to shoot two. And he's got his first free throw of the game. The first one falls. He's off on the second. Gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. He pointed. He on 0-2 from deep here. A quarter. Here's the dish to power. No good with the triple. Still scoreless after four attempts. Trying to take the lid off the basket. Now the pass to Sutton. A three-pointer, no good. Gone 0-4, missing their first four field goals. Here. Number 22. Drilled from 11 feet out. Oh, they needed that one finally. That's just one of five now overall. Shoots it. There's Williams. Good with the rebound. Gone just one for five from the field to start the quarter. All sorts of time. And it's off the back rim. No good. You know, he's been off his game this quarter just a bit. Hasn't been able to get a whole lot to go so far. Jackson can't hit. Metcalf, the pass to Kyle. Gets the three point of the court. And uh, what I like about him, he needs very little time to get his shot up. If he has just a bit of room, that's all it takes. In the kitchen 
shoot situation, he's going to let it fly. Well, Steve, you know, his ability to come in and rattle off 10, 20 points in no time flat, that's a gift and a real asset for any team. Some guys need a while to get going, not him. Awesome defense. I mean, he'll hit those unless you're right in his grill. To the middle, zero. And there's the whistle, fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. Yeah, the referee's all over that one. No doubt about it. Clearly a foul. Nothing to argue about there. It's his first trip to the line. from three-point land since we got started tonight. Williams, that's a two-pointer. Gill with the rebound. Gill's got three rebounds now in this one. Number 22. Those three-pointers off the mark. He's been wayward and just off on about everything he's put up in this period. The three from Johnson. There's Williams. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Well, at least the defender got his money's worth on that one. Yep, that was an easy whistle for the official. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. And he knocks down the first one. They should be in front right now, but he'll be relieved not to have come up totally empty there. Here's from 14. No good. Man, I'll tell you what, this has been one ugly quarter for him. And it keeps getting uglier. I mean, it's tough. He's basically going anywhere. It's blocked. And that kind of the cross to give. Pass to McKnight. Inside. And Count Kowalski is fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. And how did he get that to go? Even after the whistle, I like the awareness, the alertness, and the presence of mind to finish the play. And oh, that one falls for Gill. The visitors with the ball. It's a three-point game. Master Williams. Unloads. And a great job by the D contesting that shot and forcing the miss. Number 22 is guarded by Johnson. Gill misses. And here's the fast break. Here's to Sutton. All alone. That's good on the jump shot. He's got five. Being pretty brave so far. About 23%. Number 22 on the three off target. Well, it's just been one of those kind of games for him. Kicks it to Williams. From the arc, and the shot is good. Yeah, off to a rough start. Just doesn't seem to have the rhythm with his shot. The pass to McKnight lets it go from deep, and that one's good. Oh, oh, oh. The rapid fire threes coming from everywhere. I thought it might be a little imprudent to try to get those points right back, but it worked. Well, they've really kind of struggled offensively here, so I think this timeout is for him to really draw something up, maybe get an easy two and get their confidence back. You know, sometimes an easy basket out of a break is just what you need to get things back on track, and coaches always have plays specifically for that situation, coming out of timeout for an opportunity to get a bucket. Gone 50% from the arc, one of two. 
number 33. Trying to come right back with the three of his own. It's no good. Stolen. Zero. Misses the three. Here's Pop. He passes to McKnight. Nice shot from the wing. Five points in the game. Not really the shot they were looking for, but still they got it to go. He feeds it to Jackson. Goes back up. There's Williams. And they have their chances. Two offensive rebounds, but they still come up empty. Hill with a screen on Johnson. There's Powell. The shot will not go. Great D that time from Sutton. 14 feet away. They get the rebound. Zero. And another shot that one missing. And that's a tough one there because he's wide open. That's a shot he expects to make. Number 22. And that one is stuck right through. Excellent work on the offensive boards. Went after that rebound hard and quickly turned it into a putback jam. Beautiful work. And those are the types of plays that have put them in front in this game. And the basket oh, good. Six points for Williams. Whatever their plan was defensively that time, it, it didn't work. Not if it results in that shot. Number 23. Off target from three-point range. And there's the feed to Jackson. Not wasting any time and taking the shot and knocking it down. Beautiful feed off the bounce to his teammate there. Nicely done. Number 22. And the whistle blows, and it's going to be an over-the-back call here. Yeah, that was kind of clumsy looking. He was not going to get away with that. He climbed all over him like he was on the ladder. I mean, that's a, an easy over-the-back call there. They've been hanging in there. And they've got a chance right now to jump on top. Passes it to Williamson. But Trey. And he throws it down hard with one hand. His eyes just simply light up when he gets that close to the bucket. And you just know what he's going to do with the basketball. Being well off their usual numbers around 29% so far. That's it. That's it. Dishes it to Nelson. Misses off the right iron. Take a look at the rebound totals, guys. That's plus five now on the glass. And Steve, I don't think there's any question which team came out with more energy and enthusiasm. That's a shot you've got to take if you're looking for the three-pointer. I mean, the defense is nowhere around. Number 14. And that one's off. He misses his first shot of the game. Thing in the early going here. Pretty dreadful. 22%. Here's Nelson. A minute 50 left here in the first quarter. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. Williamson defended by Samuel. Rejected by Samuel. Number 14. And he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. Flies back and forth this first half. Well, five knee changes early on, guys, as we grapple back and forth. Yeah, this could be a, a back and forth game all the way, guys, the way it's being played. This is fun to watch. Outside, off the mark. Nelson with it. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. To the inside, number 21. The layup off target. 102 left to play in the first quarter. Number 23. Kept the Pass to Williamson. Backing in. Oh, that's quick. Just cannot find the rhythm. Still yet to hit a shot this quarter. Nice and outside. Not loose off his leg. And the ref's whistling a kickball.
Number 33. No good on the quick three. What a start they've gotten off to on the glass. I mean, they've come out banging. And when a game starts off like this, there is, there's an intimidation factor that comes into play. This is the win three. And just 26% over. Nelson outside. And there's the pass to Samuel. Fires the three. Cannot hit. Number 30. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. The home team leading by just one. Stay with us as we get set to bring you the second quarter right after this. And so far, it's been a closely contested game as we get the second quarter up and going. And guys, what's your take on the home team so far? And they set the tone there defensively with their shot blocking. It's, they've been really intimidating down in the paint area. You know, in the rest of the game, Steve, shooters will be looking around for the shot blockers because of what's happened in this quarter. Let's check out what Doris Berkeley is for us. Yes, guys, the Brooklyn Nets going all in this season. With a team payroll of about $100 million, they have an additional luxury tax bill of around $75 million. Guys, the owner's sparing no expense to keeping this roster. But no question, a high burden of expectation for what they'll achieve. It's a championship or bust. No doubt about that. Thank you, Doris. Six changes of the lead here. Yeah, no team able to build a big lead early on. I mean, it's tight. What do you think, Steve? Well, both teams still kind of feeling each other out here, and uh, neither team has been able to, to find an edge in this game. Good answer back, but that three is off the mark. Gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter, so They grabbed their own miss. Number 22. And so he ends a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Come on, and the first one at the line is good. So he gets them both. Quarter number two. We're about a minute in. Nelson outside. This one for three. No good. Boy, have they been hitting the glass hard or what? Kind of surprising with such a tight game. Yeah, you're right. Very rarely will you out-rebound in the corner like that and not have it pay off. He got the shot he wanted off that pick. Just couldn't get it to fall. But Steve, they'll take that play all day long, 10 times out of 10. That was good action. It's rebounded by Perry. Well, it's hard to believe that we're at this point in the game, and he still hasn't registered a single point. Fires the three, and play stops as it looks like they come over the back here. Obviously, he's not afraid of physical play, but he still needs to play in control. And he definitely wasn't in control that time. Everybody in the building knew it was an over-the-back call. Clark, they've been looking out of sync offensively. You know what? A basket here would do a lot for their confidence. Number 14. Hits it from three-point line. He's got five. That was simply a defensive breakdown there, Kevin. He was all alone for that shot. That was a warm-up jumper. He needs to get them back into a flow offensively. You know, things have gotten stagnant for them, and they're starting to force some of these shots. And that can snowball on you. One guy takes a bad shot, then another guy does, and then you're missing back-to-back-to-back -back -back shots, and all of a sudden, you have no rhythm and you're self-inflicting wounds. Two minutes now for the second quarter. Perry passes to Williamson. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. Well, he's really starting to get in the flow now. A nice groove. That's his second here in the quarter. After none in the first. He dishes it to Nelson. Offensive rebound. Powered down a 
as the whistle blows. A three-point play chance. Pure hustle on that play, and that's what it takes on the offensive boards. It's not about ability as much as it is desire. And that Clark and some muscle, and he showed us he's got plenty of that with the huge dunk. Well, in a tight game, I mean, they could use a few more of those hustle plays going forward if they're going to win. And the free throw, no good. Gotten cold from deep in the second quarter, just two or six from long range. No good for Williamson. You know, when the shot's not there for you, you've just got to recognize it and move the ball up. I think he had tunnel vision right there. His only thought was to shoot it, no matter what else was going on. Gone only two of seven from the field since the second quarter got underway. Launches a three. No good. Well, his shot's been off today. No question. He's not the guy they're going to want to look to if they want to keep this lead where it is. They got that. Off on the lane. Had a pretty good look at the basket, but defensively they did a nice job rotating, forcing the miss. From past the arc, can't get it to go. Gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for the other. Number 33. The basket good off the assist from Hessen. And this game is tied up now. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. The shot's good from Williamson. Starting to get a little momentum here after that scoreless first quarter. Being a disastrous 25% from the field so far. Passes it to Samuel. Corner shot. And another foul would give him three before the half. Something to keep our eyes on. Played here in the second quarter. Number 22 misses the wing jerk. Well, I think he kind of alligator arm that one. Short stroke it. After doing a nice job to get open, he didn't finish the shot. And the ball goes out of play following the shot. for him. It's his first three-pointer of the second half, which actually makes it his first of the game. Pass to Perry for three. No good. Gone two for five from three-point land since the end of the first. The pass to McKnight. And unable there to get the go-ahead bucket. Gone two for five, shooting 40% from the field here. I got ball! Number 33. Number 23. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. This is his first trip to the line tonight. One falls for him. Both shots good from the strike. They've done better at the line this quarter. Right now, they're at a good percentage. McKnight, the best of part. And the go-ahead bucket, no good. Boy, just by his body language, Kevin, you can tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Yeah, a little frustrated now, shaking his head after that miss. Number 23. He's covered by Gill. Passes it to Williamson. Rocket six. Nails from three-point land. He's got 12. The three-pointer has been his best weapon here today, no question. The D has been all mixed up, confused, bamboozled, allowing him way too much space. It's up a three. A shot no good. It's been a real difficult game for him offensively, and it's cost him. No one near him. No good from Sutton. He's around 24%. Not a good showing here. Tries it from 19. Hope he'll get another chance. And it's good. 
got a great read of where that miss was going, and that allowed him to be the first guy to it and get the putback. Pass to Williamson. Plenty of space. No luck. That's exactly how you win a rebound battle. Get good position and then use your strength to hold on to that position. Off target from outside. Let's it go with a three. He is rebounded by Paul. Boy, I'm shocked he didn't make that one. He, he usually knocks that one down with ease. Drains the three-pointer. Six points for him. Oh, he's going to keep banging those home if you give him that much space. On deep. That one goes. Come. The defender there in the neighborhood, but not quite close enough. Good shot in the second quarter has been pretty embarrassing just 27%. You have to like what we're seeing from Williamson. He's been absolutely on fire from outside. He's got to get into his jersey. Get up into him. Force him to pass a drive. That's been the result for him over and over, guys. He just cannot find the bottom of the basket. Being a rough 22% so far in this one. There's the pass to Sutton. Shot, shot, shot. He hit a three in the first, but so far has been unable to capitalize here in this court. Nick Knight is guarded by Johnson. Williams with the steal. Feeds to Johnson. No good on the three. It's been a disastrous 25% from the field so far. Number 22 defended by Sutton. The rebound by Johnson. Not a good look at the hoop. They've got to do a better job offensively creating some space. Zero. Trips in the trade. Eight points for him. It took him a little while to get into the flow of this game, but now he's definitely found his stride and rhythm. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. You know, even from here, you could see that one pretty clearly. Yep, pretty obvious. And a good call by the official. First free throw is good. And so he hits both. Being just 29% in the second quarter, the offense is suffering. Takes a three. The shot is off. Here's Pop. He's guarded by Johnson. Let's go. Oh, that's good. Eight points for him. Gone three for seven from the four so far tonight. Pass to Sutton. Jacks up a three. Hill with the rebound. Hill's got rebound number seven for him tonight. A 15-footer and foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. First free throw is good. And good on the second, so he makes them both. 129 left now here in the second. It is now to Johnson. Here's Sutton. Off the ball here with the three-point shot. Not sure why he's insisting on shooting from out there. It's just not working for him right now. The shot's good from McKnight. They've already picked up a number of fouls here, and they're in the penalty. 
not a good sign. They need to focus on moving their feet, keeping their hands up, and defending without foul. They're getting beat up pretty badly out there. Yeah, they can't keep the status quo at this point. They've got to make some changes. Number 33, Gill with the rebound. Gill's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Number 22, target with his three. And then he's having all sorts of problems with his shot. I'm not sure he even has a shot right now, Steve, to be quite honest. Not a reliable one anyway. That's the way to work the ball in close to the hoop, guys. And only 27% from the field looking pretty ugly out there. Kicks it to power. Number 22. A three-pointer is right on target. 11 points in the game. I'm not sure that was the play they had set up, but it was too good a look to pass it. Number 33. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Trailing here in the game, you can look at his performance as a direct indicator of why they're losing. Power. Oh, that's good. And he's starting to pick things up here after a tough first quarter. Getting like 21 percent from the field so far. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time getting the lid off the basket so far. That three from Johnson. The shot is up. Here's McKnight. The shot is up. And the first half ends in a close one. The home team, they're up by five. Make sure you stay tuned for the Sprint Halftime Show with Damon Bruce. Then we'll be back here right after that for the second half. And now, brought to you by Sprint. Monday has almost come to an end. Let's celebrate with a little halftime show. At the midway point, the home team is playing very well. Their defensive intensity has really shaped the beginning of this game. No surprise from this rough and rugged squad. And the visitors still keeping at it. They've gotten a tremendous boost from their reserves going to them early in the game for production. That'll be all for us here at the studios as we head back to the start of the third quarter with Kevin, Steve, Clark, and Doris. Thanks so much for joining me. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. Welcome back, everyone. The second half about to get underway, and it's been a close one so far. You have to like what we're seeing from Williamson. Well, in terms of his points in the first half, I mean, that's pretty much what we've come to expect out of him. Yeah, that's an open book on all you need to know about what talent he has. I'll bet he adds a lot more to that tally in the second half. Here's Gill. Here's McKnight. That three off the mark. This game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding is one thing that they've been able to, to dominate. Yeah, they've chased down that pumpkin often. Get the shot. Get on by Williams. Well, I think the defense got lucky right there. I mean, he's going to make a lot more of those than he misses when he's got that much room. And they turn it over. Stepped in the line that time. A temporary lapse of focus from him on that turnover. It's embarrassing, but on occasion it does happen. Here's Paul. Come on, come on. Number 23. A three-pointer off the mark. Three straight misses here to start the second half. Beyond the end. Shot is back. And that goes out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. There's Williams with the three. Gill with the rebound. Gill's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Here's McKnight, and it comes off the front of the rim. Ugly start to this second half, guys. They've missed all four of their shot attempts. Williams with another miss. Gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Looking to get back out of here. Yeah, it's about time somebody scored. This is ugly. Yeah, grit and grind ugly. That's how I would describe it. Every bucket counts double in a game like this one, or at least it should count double.
gone 0-4 from the field in the second half. Yet to find the mark. Oh, close. Another out in the half. Play right here in the third quarter. And shot opportunity. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. Nice work to get inside and draw the foul. Yeah, it's obvious. The defense not going to allow many easy layups. They're going to make you earn it from the line. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And he makes the first. He hits both from the strike. Just a little over 90 seconds gone in the third quarter. He feeds it to power. Here's McKnight. No good from outside. He's not exactly striking them from deep. He had one three ball in the first half. Still bagels in the second. Johnson outside. Trying his luck deep. But they recover it. Nice hustle to get them a second look. Zero. Pass to Sutton. A second chance effort. And that's good for two. Nine points in the game so far. Gone over one of six in the field in the third quarter. Not how they pitch with the half started. The pass to McKnight. Number 22. I think on the triple. Being a dismal 20% for the game. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. A shot by Johnson, no good. In 28%, a rocky, rocky performance for them offensively. And you know that's going to be goaltending, guys. So that's a free basket right there. He almost got to that shot in time, but not quite. You can't touch the ball once it's on the way down. Clarkson, tough offensive sets. They want to turn around. Yeah, they need a basket just to regain some momentum here, Kevin. Really an extraordinary game for Williams. He's got 16 rebounds, and he's blocked a shot today as well. Well, he showed off how intelligent he is uh, defensively. He understands where the ball is, where players are, what's happening in front of him. Three trips to the line so far for him in this one. And that one falls for Williams. Gone just 25% from the field here in the second half for two of eight. Here's McKnight. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. Pass to Johnson. Can't get it to go. Getting off to a very slow start from three-point range in the second half for 0 for 4. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. for power. Both free throws good from power. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. That's the three five. Number 33 makes it off the glass. You gotta love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of grind it out physical game. Yeah, that was your game, Clark. Pound it inside and <laughs> take the ball right to the defense. <laughs> That's what I tried to do, man. I knew my limitations. Fires from deep. Can't get it to go. Johnson outside. Outside Williams. Zero. On the triple. Well, the defense recognized how dangerous he is out there and got right up on him. Didn't give him any space. 
Quick shot there, and it's off target. Well, there was no hand in his face right there. I thought for sure he was going to knock that down. Here's Sutton. Buries the long-range jumper. He's got 12. That shot becomes effortless for him when the D is so relaxed. they got to get more intense. Down low. Here's McKnight. Off target at the rim. Terrific job that time defending at the rim. I mean, it's not an easy task stopping that fella when he's headed to the bucket like that. Good job. Boy, look at the rebound totals. He is absolutely dominating out there. Well, that's been something to watch. My goodness. Here's Paul. It's the three-point foul. There is no way. No way a player like him can be left wide open like that. Did you pay attention to the scouting report? Now here's Williams. Ten points in the game so far. Here's Sutton. Shakes off the strong D and gets to the bucket for two. Well, he's found his game and his rhythm this quarter. He's gotten into a nice groove. Takes the three. It's rebounded by Sutton. Boy, from my angle, it looked like it was in the bottom of the net. Looked good from here. Yeah, I thought so too, Clark. And Chen shot. Nice key from McKnight. Balanced scoring, Clark and Steve, for them. They're moving it well. Yeah, you love to see teams share the sugar. Everybody getting a touch. Everybody enjoying an opportunity to score. That makes it a lot of fun for everybody on the court. You know, it sounds better when you say it than watch it. Yeah. <laughs> I like better when you say it. Sharing the sugar. Hey, Steve. Yeah, pass the cream, too. I mean, while you're at it. I mean, this has been something to watch. I mean, just everybody getting involved. He's not a guy that's going to be able to count on the way he's playing in this quarter. Now the feed to Powell. He passes to McKnight. Just five to shoot. Number 23. Offensive rebound. Another shot. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. First one falls for him. Boy, still waiting for the first miss from the foul line this half. 100% since halftime, is that right? I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon if that keeps up. And so he makes both from the line. Being a dismal 20% for the game. Johnson outside. Passes it to Perry. Back to Johnson. Off line with his three. From a terrible 27% from the floor. Boy, an off night for them to say the least. Johnson right side. Another miss by Johnson. It would have been lucky to knock that shot down. Yeah, that kind of shot will definitely get you the high brows from the coat and maybe get you a seat on the bench, too. And it ends up out of bounds. Gone two for five tonight. Pass to Perry. Here's the three. Shot misses. There's the pick. Launches it. The shot is off. What determination. There was a lot of competition for that rebound, and he came away with it. Number 23, defended by Samuel. Here's Sutton. From outside, off the mark. Come on, bust him out, man. Wide open look. It's rebounded by Perry. You know, that mid-range jump shot is not his strong suit, even when he gets a good look like that. Off target from outside. Dishes it to Nelson. 
Cut tonight. And it ends up out of bounds. And they retain possession. A minute 50 left in the third quarter of the game. Number 14 sinks the triple. Eight points for him. One forty-one left in the third. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch offensively. They desperately need a basket. He had a nice open look right there. Being a terrible 27% from the floor. Boy, an off night for them to say the least. And the pass to McKnight for the three. And they call over the back here. Too much contact. Well, he gave the officials no choice there. Easy call. Went right over the top. Yeah, he's got to go straight up when he's under the boards in that kind of traffic. Can't chest first into the man in front of you. That's a foul. Passes it to Sutton. Here's Perry. Misses the three. Pass to Sutton. And he banks in the lane. Boy, he is a strong finisher on the fast break. Yeah, he sure is. He remains in total control, even at full speed. I love that about him. Number 30. Drills the three-pointer. He's got five. Of all the guys you want to leave open out on the perimeter, he is the absolute last guy on the list. Attention to detail. Know your personnel. That hops. He's starting to heat up from outside. That's his second this half. Gone an outstanding three of four from three-point territory. There's the triple, gets it to go. There's 38 seconds left in the third quarter. The pass for Sanders. He dishes it to Powell. Trying to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Passes to Perry. And it's set back by Powell. He's just disappeared in this quarter, guys, and they're going to have to have him to do if they're going to get into this lead. Boy, he threw out some punishment with that two-hand throw down. Well, now is the time to do it. Keep attacking that rim. On the wing, Williams. Pass to Sutton. A three ball. Can't get it to go. From mid-court, he's got his no good. And we've reached the end of the third. The home team, they lead by seven. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter of action when we return. Hello and thanks for joining us, folks. The fourth quarter of play should begin momentarily. Being only 21% from the field so far. Number 33. No good from outside. Kevin, I didn't like that defensive effort at all, but they're lucky he missed it. Yeah, they were uh, very lucky defensively because there were some miscommunication there. He left him wide open. Well, in the rebounding game, at least, it's been a strong physical performance for them. But it has to translate, Clark, if they're going to cut into this league. They've got to convert those boards into points. In 28%, a rocky, rocky performance for them offensively. Powell, the pass to Gill. He gets the pass. And reaches it off the right side of the rim. When he's wide open like that, he'll rarely miss those. Oh, and he almost had a four-point play right there. He'll go to the line with a chance for three. Contact on that three-point attempt, and he'll go to the line. You know, you got to be careful beyond the arc as a defender to not pick up a foul like that. That's a uh, bad foul. And he hits the first of three. And he 
lost all three. Number 22, and back to it goes. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Number 33, gets it to go from beyond the arc. It hasn't happened as quickly as he would have liked, but he's finally putting some points on the board in this game. He's tipped. Feeds the ball. There's the three. I'm sure that's a load off his mind after not hitting a single three-pointer in the first half. Gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. The dish to Johnson. Here's Williamson. And that one goes long. Gone two of four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Williams comes with a double team. Number 22. Here's Gillard. Throws up the game. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew Konjak down the shot. Well, at least the defender got his money's worth on that one. Yep, that was an easy whistle for the official. And the first one goes. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Gone one of four since the end of the third quarter. Zero. He did it again. He's again. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. And that one misses. He's only got half of the equation right, Kevin. He's getting to the free throw line often, but he's not making enough of them. So he comes up empty at the line. A basket here would push their lead to double digits. Boy, they're fully in control, looking that way anyway. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Yeah, he got whacked. Shouldn't be much debate on that one. Yeah, that was as straightforward as it gets, guys. And the first one at the line is good. Good on both. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. Hi, Kevin. The head coach for the visiting team had some instruction for his guys during that last break. He was riding them pretty hard for the number of silly fouls they've committed in this game. He said, listen, we need to have some defensive discipline. Stop fighting on the shot, fakes, stop reaching in, and stop giving them three points at the free throw line. So we'll see if they'll respond, guys. That was good. And 11 points for Williams. Boy, they're doing a nice job, a really good job of getting second chances here. And that's a, that's a great way to cut into that lead. I mean, nothing is more demoralizing to a defense than putbacks. Well, remember, he made two three-pointers in the first half, but has not been able to get anything to fall here in the second. Kicks it out to Johnson. Uh, Johnson missing. Not sure if he just ran out of gas or what, Kevin, but he's been awful ever since the second half started. Not even been a foul. The shot's good from the point. Gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here on the board. Kicks it to Johnson. He passes to Sutton. Who's back up? Williams. 
We've played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. To the paint. Got a piece of it. And it's going to be out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. Here's McKnight. That one off the back iron and out. You know, when the shot's not there for you, you just got to recognize it, move the ball on. Yeah, I think he had some vision right there. His only thought was to shoot, no matter what else was going on. Gill with a screen on Williams. Here's the pass to McKnight. Here's Gill. Six to shoot. The rebound by Johnson. Johnson's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Looking to end his quick spell. And good on the basket. Book it. Maybe the pressure, the weight of expectation starting to sink in now as he looks like he's second-guessing the shot, not letting it go with the same confidence we saw earlier. Here's Paul. to Gill. Six on the shot clock. Rebound by Williams. Being only 21% from the field so far. Clark, they've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a little bit of cotton mouth here. Dry spell for sure. Johnson can't get it to go. Not much production from him, and it's hurt his team. Pass to McKnight. Shot off the screen. It's rebounded by Sutton getting some tough luck from three-point range. In the fourth quarter, they've hit just one of six from deep. Yeah, it is. Looks like he's just trying to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but uh, I don't know about that shot. Or two. And plenty of contact on the shot, so two free throws coming up. The free throw drops for Powell. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. He's simply just willing himself to the line here. On the wing, Johnson expanding his range. Again, the miss by Johnson. He just has not been a viable option for them this quarter. He feeds it to Powell. Pass to Gill. He's against Williams. Tries in the post. Gill misses. Gill's gotten just one of six shots to fall here. On the wing, Johnson. Through the net. Johnson's got four points now in the quarter. Being just 28%. They're offensively out of whack and out of step with each other at this point. Where was he going with that pass? I mean, that's just an awful turnover. Zero. Defended by Powell. There's the feed to Williams. Now the pass to Sutton. Off target with his three. Number 22 is guarded by Johnson. Passes it to McKnight, and he uses the glass on the way. Took advantage of some shoddy defense there. They've got to at least get a finger on it. Being like 21% from the field so far. Pass to Sutton from downtown. A shot no good. Gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Pass to Gill. He's against Williams. Number 23. Rebound by Williams. Sutton defended by McKnight. 
Sutton passes to Williams. Oh, man, that was a real mark it up. That's not as easy as it made it look, guys. You've got to have some skills to pull that baby off. Well, he's got plenty of those skills <laughs> necessary, partner. Man. Oh, you know it. The guy can climb the ladder, can't he? Thing in this fourth quarter, pretty dire at 27%. This is the power. Shot clock at six. The three. Get it to go. Johnson with the defensive effort. The pass to Sutton. Number 33. No good from outside. Got the defender off his feet with the pump fake, but couldn't knock it down. Here's Powell. Gets the bucket. He's got 19. And after that, it was seen from Powell. He's definitely rolling offensively. You might not be able to stop him, but you've got to find a way to contain him. trip to the line, even though it was just one miss. Now is not the time to be missing free throws. Passes it to McKnight. Down low. And there's the turnover. Pass going out of bounds. That's not what they needed there, that's for sure. You know, rough 22% so far in this one. Number 33. Oh, target from the win. Gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Who got ball? A minute 20 left to play in the final quarter. Kick it out, kick it out. Number 21, defended by Sutton. Clock at four. Number 23, offline from the high post. That's a very low percentage shot. Not good basketball at all. One he probably should have passed on. Johnson can't hit. Boy, I tell you what, guys, he's an extremely strong finisher. I'm surprised he wasn't able to power that through the defense. Austin McKnight. Looks one up, and he threw the blocking foul. He'll go to the line for two. Second free throw, no good, a tough break there. He would have liked them all to go, but that should still be enough to end this thing. Number 23, no good with the triple. Nelson with the rebound. And the ball pulled, just 28%. Six second difference between the shot and game play. The pass to McKnight. Shot, 
Here's Williamson, and the defense didn't have position. They whistle a blocking foul, and he'll go to the line. He hits the first one, and that brings them within single digits. Free throws, good from Williamson. Here's Nelson. So the home crowd happy here as they get the victory. It was a solid win, Clark. Yeah, it was, and I think it came down to will more than skill. They went out and got this one. Thanks for joining us for this presentation of NBA Basketball on 2K Sports. For Doris Burke, Steve Kerr, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying see you next time. But first, let's check out the Jordan player of the game. This is the NBA on 2K Sports. Welcome, folks. I'm Damon Bruce. Friday Hoops Fest coming up next. It's the away team going up against the home team. And now it's game time to call the action. Here are Kevin Harlan, Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke. I'll be back at halftime, everybody. Welcome and good evening. We welcome you to our Monday night broadcast of the NBA here on 2K Sports. A quick check now at the starting five for both teams. And for the home team, Anthony is out there with Robinson. He's thrilled for this one. Everyone will be watching now how he does in his first NBA official game. And it's Brooks in at the power forward. target D there guys was pretty much non-existent I mean you can't leave a good shooter like that open Anthony kicks to Robinson the arc. can't get it to go nobody near him he'll normally make that one number 11 Brooks grabs the board and little to no chance of that shot going in yeah that would be tough one right there. and that one ends up out of bounds and they'll keep possession
they set the screen. Off the inbound, no good. That's three misses to start the game, guys. Does not bode well here early. They did it again. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. And no question, he got bumped on that shot. Definitely no room for discussion on that one. And he can't get the first one. the second from the line. The two possession lead is what they were looking for there so they can deal with that one miss. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke who's across the way on the sideline. Hey Kevin, I had a chance to catch up with the visiting team's head coach. When we talked about what they'll try to do on defense, he told me they're going to have to do everything they can to neutralize their opponent's high flyers. Saying, quote, we can't play above the rim like these guys so we'll have to do our best to keep them away from the hoop. Gentlemen, easier said than done. And thanks for that story, Doris. You got it, no problem. And the first one at the line is good. And both free throws good for Brooks. First quarter of play, one minute played. Number 33. Number 11. And he can't bank that one in. Kind of shaky the first few minutes. Guys, five field goal attempts, only one made. The shot is good from Black. Oh, they needed that one finally. That's just one of five now overall. Number 11. Not wasting any time and taking the shot and knocking it down. Looks like he's trying to find a groove in this game. Just hasn't had it dialed in yet. Anthony, the pass to Brooks. Back to Anthony. The feed now to Robinson. Here's Black. Good, and the assist goes to Robinson. Five points in the game. Gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Grabs the board. Brooks has got three rebounds so far in the game. This quarter has not been his best. The defense may be starting to affect him a little bit. Pleasure to watch him work at that end of the floor. Brown gets two or seven so far. A little bit of a slow start for them. Shoots. Rebounded by Anthony. He's been wayward and just off on about everything he's put up in this period. And they're running. Here's Woolridge. Good shot there, and it's off target. Gone 3 of 7 from the field since we've gotten underway. Pass to Robinson for three. Can't get it to go. Being in the early going here, pretty dreadful, 22%. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch offensively. They desperately need a basket. Robinson pulls it in. Gone 2 of 4 from beyond the arc to start the game. Passes it to Anthony. And it's space. Off the left, bring it out. You just assume he's going to knock those down when he's as open as he was there. It's rebounded by Black. Tough three-point try there with a hand in his face. Boy, you'd be lucky to make that one against great defense. Robinson's got space. Robinson missing again. Boy, that's a frustrating one there. Easy look at the hoop. Number 24. It's rebounded by Black. In a lowly 30% to start this game out. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. Expanding his range. And they're on the break. Here's Woolridge. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Woolridge has got his first points of the game. Defender a little hesitant to offer resistance as he bursts to the hoop. The pass to Black. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. Roll Ridge with it. Number 11. And he misses the go-ahead basket. And this has not been a quarter for him to remember. 
Yeah, he sure has his team. I mean, he's been doing this invisible man impersonation here, hasn't he? Tell you what, boy, it's hard to watch when the guy gets good shots and misses them. He's missed everything this quarter. Back to Woolridge, number 33. This is the three. Here's Black. That's in there. Anthony with the assist. He's got seven. The visitors with the ball. Four point game. Fires the three. The offensive rebound. Number 11. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Just two for eight. 25% shooting here early on. We'll see if that gets him going. Go. Anthony kicks to Robinson. Back to Anthony. Goes to Black. Goes up. Kings the shot from the wing. Boy, that is a tough shot. He has to be concerned with all the missed shots. I mean, it happens to every team, but you have to find a way to keep being productive even when you go through a shooting drop. He might be trying to tell them to get to the free throw line. You know, all teams go cold at points during the game, but the good team still find ways to score. Now Woolridge. Number 33. The 19-footer is on the money. Anthony with it. Feeds it to Robinson. Here's Brooks. And a missed late. Right side, Woolridge. Number 33. Makes a hand on it. Brooks grabs the ball. Getting well off their usual numbers around 29% so far. Anthony can't hit. A near 25% from the floor in this first quarter. From outside the arc, and the whistle blows, and it's going to be an over the back call here. A little over eager right there. He left his feet too early. And if you're already boxed out, you got to try to work to get around. Otherwise, it's a surefire foul. Gotten just one of six shots to fall here. Outside Pierce puts up a three. The shot is off. I got him. Right side Woolridge. Down to five on the shot clock. Puts up a three. It's rebounded by Francis. Gotten just one of his four attempts from the four tonight. Number 55, and they cash in right away with a quick shot. Outside, Woolridge, number one, and it's all evened up. And that kind of defense is just not going to cut it. Guys, they have to get a hand in his face. Number 55. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Launches a three, and that is good. He has six. And they've set up countless buckets off assists. That's a huge part of what they've been doing here today. A lot of dime dropping going on out there, Steve. Back to Pierce. Number 55. Good hit on the triple. Tell you what, if there's success on the boards in this first quarter is any indication, it's going to be a good day. And rebounds usually are a good indicator. Terrible transition defense there. I think it would have been pointless, Steve. There was no way anybody was beating him to the basket there. Yeah, he is none too pleased with the play of his club out there, and looks like they need a little time to get things sorted out here. I don't know of any coaches that would be too happy if they just saw their team give up a run like this one.
They've been looking at a sorts in the last few possessions. This is when they need to be patient, work the ball, and find a high percentage shot. Been only around 32% so far in this run. The offense looking a bit off kilter. Number 24. Bangs on the trifecta. He has six. And again, a few more points added to the lead. They might be ready to pull away here. I wouldn't be surprised, Steve. As well as they've got it working right now, that could be the case. Gone two of four from distance tonight. He kicks to Pierce. Dishes it to Brooks. Back and down. A finger roll. Number 24. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. He just has not been able to get into that groove yet, guys. But as a whole, it hasn't affected them too much. Pierce's shot is good. We've got 123 left in the first quarter. Outside, Woolridge. Number one. No oh, good on the three. Only 28% here in the first. A shot again offensively for them so far. Francis passes to Pierce. Now here's Brooks. Defense right on him. He's back up. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. He's gone two for two at the line so far. That free throw missing. And he's good on the second. The visitors with the ball. Six-point lead. Number one. Oh, three off the mark. We'll see if they want to trade two for one here. Now you got to time up the clock. It's easier said than done, but you got to execute your offense on that first possession. Gone 104 from the field. No one near him. That one off the back out him and out. Now you can see why the defense is willing to let him take that shot. That's really not his way. I'll tell you what, the way he's been going this quarter, guys, they're going to need somebody else to pick up the slot. Number 10. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. They are really doing a nice job establishing a presence inside Earl. That's going to open things up for them on the perimeter going forward. Three-pointer. Can't get it to go. And here's the fast break. One second left. And he reached the end of the first quarter. The away team up eight. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in just a moment. All right, the second quarter beginning in just a moment. And looking at what we've seen so far, guys, from the visiting team, what do you think? Yeah, the defense has been terrific. They came out right from the beginning, alert and focused, and they've been really good at that end of the floor. And I think Coach has to be pleased with the effort, Steve. And around 24%, not a good showing here. Kicks to Pierce. He passes it to Francis. A three-pointer off the mark. That's a battle they haven't been winning today, guys. Their work on the glass has to improve. And that's not the only thing that's gone against them. Beautiful work in the transition game. That's how to do it. Attack early before the defense can get itself set. On the wing, Brooks. Outside, Pierce. The shot. That's a good it's the jumper from the corner to fall. Being about 33%, not happy with their play on that end. Pulls up from the corner. Good as the jump shot falls. Eight points for him. Gone three for seven tonight. To the paint. Brooks. The open shot by Pierce. And Woolwich pulls it down. Well, that was not a smart play there. That's a wild shot. They can get something better. 
No, that's not smart basketball. He should have passed that shot up. Great looking bounce pass to set up that play. And that one misses. Gone one of three to start out the second quarter. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that's right. Kevin, the offense has basically been running in place. They got to get going. Number one. From outside, off the mark. Well, it looks like he's cooled down a bit after hitting those two in the first quarter. And now approaching two minutes of action here in the second quarter. The dish to Pierce. Six to shoot. Off the mark and a bad shot there. Ouch, another miss to add to what's been a miserable game for him from the field. Jacks up a three. He's got 16. You know, he started out hot, and he's only gotten hotter. He, he could be in for one of those games. Number 55. And he can't stop the run as he misses. You know, so many games are decided by which team wins the rebound battle. And that's held true in this one so far, Steve. And even if it's only a modest advantage that they have in that category, it's still a significant factor. And here's, here we go. And it's good. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Number one. I'll you from outside. Kind of rare to see him come up empty on a wide open look. Pass to Francis. He feeds it to Pierce. From beyond the arc. A second chance effort. And the officials wish to a foul on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. On the free throw, no good. Gone four of seven from the field in this second quarter so far. Nice D from Black. Gone just 33% from the field in what's been a cold second quarter for them. There's three of nine. The three to make it in. Shot is blocked. And here's the break. Number one. No good. Well, I tell you what, guys, he's an extremely strong finisher. I'm surprised he wasn't able to power that through the defense. Fast break, here they come. Number 11. Well, they've really kind of struggled offensively here, so I think this timeout is for him to really draw something up, maybe get an easy two and get their confidence back. You know, sometimes an easy basket out of a break is just what you need to get things back on track, and coaches always have plays specifically for that situation. Coming out of timeout, for an opportunity to get a buck. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Robinson kicks to Anthony. The pass to Black. Robinson. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. Pushing it up. On up the court. Anthony with the defensive effort. He's trying to shoot his way out of it, guys. And as long as they're in the lead, he's going to continue to try to find his rhythm. That's a blocking foul. And he'll shoot free throws. No good on that one. No luck that time either. Gotten into trouble with the three ball in the second quarter. Only hitting one of five attempts. And the ball goes out of bounds. Turned over. That's a poor possession. You just give away the ball with a sloppy pass. They got a chance to cut the deficit to within 10. Stolen away. 
Number 24, guarded by Robinson. Number three, drops in the tray. Just seems like they've given up far too many points from the three-point shot today. A lot of open looks out there. I agree, Steve. The defensive rotations have been abysmal. Now here's Anthony. He dishes it to Robinson. Wide open, couldn't capitalize. He's really lacking in confidence out there. Zero field goals made so far in this game. Number 11. No good. Not able to find it here in the second. He's off stride and off track just a bit after that one he had early. Robinson for three. The shot was off. It's a plus five advantage for them in the rebounding category after that board. Very steady work they've been doing on the interior, no question. And that's, uh, I think, the main reason they have this lead. I'm not sure who was supposed to pick him up, but somebody's going to get an earful from the coach for leaving him that wide open. Robinson can't get that one to fall. Well, it's hard to believe that we're at this point in the game and he still hasn't registered a single point. Number 11. The lane jumper off target. Clarkson, tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, they need a basket just to regain some mobility. Boy, I like the way he calls out just enough space to get his hands on the missed shot. And then grab the rim on the foot. Mm -hmm. And the gap narrow. They're closing it fast. Well, that's the effort of a team ready to fight back into this game. He did not look too happy about some of the things he saw on the court. So I would expect some changes here. I think it's the right move, quite honestly. I mean, they just didn't look sharp or at their best out there. So take the time out and give yourself a chance to regroup. Gone, 6 of 14 shooting here in the second. To the middle. Hit, but the layup off the mark. Usually, if he gets to the rim, he's converting it into points. But the defense stood tall there. Hey, hey, Yo, watch it. Yo, yo, kick it out. Shoot from 12. Yo, yo, grab Shot misses. That's one he knows he should have made. Number 24. Rebounded by Black. Around 24%. Not a good showing here. Outside Anthony takes a three. No good. Gone for the three pointer seven times here in the second and been successful three times. The putback cleans up the mess with the savage putback flush. Tell you what, coaches love to see that kind of hustle, guys. I mean, getting after it on the offensive board, that's always a winning play. Absolutely. Now, coaches love to see the hustle, but the fans love to see the dunk. I think it's going to be tough for them to trim this deficit if he keeps missing those kinds of shots, Kevin. I mean, they need his points. Well, at least the defender got his money's worth on that one. Yep, that was an easy whistle for the official. Robinson. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Like the pass to Brooks. And that goes out of bounds. And they retain possession. That was an awfully risky pass, guys. Lucky it didn't wind up as a steal. Well, it nearly did wind up as a steal, but no harm done in the end. They hang on to possession. And kicks to Anthony. Off target from three point range. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but in the rebounding department, too, Clark. Yeah, it's been a really gritty performance. They'll have some bruises to show for it, but that's the way it should be. You should feel 
that you've competed when you do that work inside. Robinson left side, wide open it. look. And Woolwich pulls it down in the second quarter, around 42%. And fouled as he went up to the dunk. Good aggressive move, and he'll shoot two. Good strength there. Just barely off with that attempt. I don't think you can fault him right there. A lot of contact on that one. This is his first free throw of the game. First free throw is good. Jets them both. Being a rough 22% so far in this one. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time getting the lid off the basket so far. Again, the miss by Anthony. Some of the shots he's taken have been real head scratchers. I mean, come on, he's out there playing like it's a game of horse at the park. And another foul would give him three before the half, something to keep our eyes on. First one falls. That one falls, so he hits both of them. It's been several possessions since they've converted. Well, they've got to find a way to change that. Here's Black. No good from outside. Gone for the three-pointer seven times here in the second and been successful three times. It's rebounded by Black. Tough D on the inside. Put up a roadblock. Construction hey, barrier. Oh, no. Man, that was a real mark it up. That's not as easy as he made it look, guys. You've got to have some skills to pull that baby off. Well, he's got plenty of those skills <laughs> necessary, partner. Man, uh, you know it. The guy can climb the ladder, can he? Number one, sinks the three-pointer. 19 points in the game. His switch has definitely been flipped to on this quarter, guys. Pass to Black. There's the feed to Brooks. Passes it to Black. Trying his luck deep. And Woolwich pulls it down. Well, he just hasn't looked right to me a bit out of sorts, if you will. Something's off with his mechanics, um, at least as I look at him. Oh, man, he goes old school on us with the finger roll. Now here's Anthony. Five points in the game. Pass to Robinson for the three. And yes, sir, that one drops. Robinson's got his first three points of the game. That's his first triple of the game. It was a dry first half for him from long range. Takes the three. Second chance shot. Shot tonight. And the ball ends up out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. There's 49 seconds left in the first half of basketball. down the first one. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. 46 seconds left in the first half of the game. It's Pierce on the way. Tries a three. No good. And Steve, not only is their lead big, but their advantage on the boards is huge, too. Yeah, well-deserved. I mean, they have worked their tails off on the glass. And 23% from the field. That's not going to get it done. It's Pierce on the wing. Again, Pierce missing. Well, the shot was there for him, and he had to take it. I don't care if he didn't convert. He's got to take that. Yeah, that's all Offensive rebound. Come get it. Come get it. 
Back to Woolwich. Tries again. Shot no good. Looked like he rushed that one, guys. The defense was out of position. He was wide open, just couldn't take advantage. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. The away team delivering the blowout. We'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. Now presented by Sprint. Live from 2K Sports, it's the Monday night edition of the Halftime Report. The away team scorching hot in the first half. Their great passing has been fun to watch, keeping the ball moving and picking apart that deep. And for the home team, they've been struggling a bit. Their terrible field goal percentage dragging down their whole game. they got to find a way to take the lid off. And that'll do it for us here in the studio. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of the game. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. Well, we're getting back to the action now. It's been a one-team show so far. We'll see if that changes here in the third. And so here's the home team. Here's Anthony. Feeds it to Robinson. Here's Black. Three quarters off the mark. Got a piece of it. And that one goes in as he is fouled. It'll be three points if he converts at the line. Well, he earned that one. Took the hit and still found a way to knock it down. Yeah, fantastic body control. And the will to get it done. You like that focus. And here is Woolridge. Number 33. Oh, with his three. Well, most times he can knock it down from deep, but it just isn't there for him in this one. No oh, good from Black. In just 33%, struggling to get good looks. Number 11. And too long on the shot. He can't get anything to drop. And the way he's going, I'm not sure it's something he should try to shoot his way out of. No, that might only serve to make things worse, Steve. Sometimes the harder you try, the worse it gets. Outside Robinson, Anthony. He passes to Black. And the miss, not the best shot selection there. Well, they need a shot or two to fall here soon. They're only one of four since the break. From deep three-point range, Robinson pulls it in. Robinson's got rebound number five here tonight. And offensively, they have yet to hit a shot. Slow start here to the second half. And the offense continues to struggle. Just one make in their five attempts. Shot's good. Eight points for him. That one goes down. But offensively, just one of four to start the third quarter. Clark, they've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a little bit of cotton mouth here. Dry spell for sure. Boy, look at the rebound totals. He is absolutely dominating out there. Well, that's been something to watch. My goodness. Number 11, covered by Anthony. The defense just couldn't recover in time. Yeah, but he pretty much went brain neutral on that one, Clark. Wouldn't, wouldn't yes, you? Yes, sir. I, I like that phrase. Yeah, I don't use that phrase very often, but to me, that's what happened. He uh, shifted the, the brain into neutral. Yes, he did. <laughs> that was embarrassing. <laughs> Outside Robinson. Here's Black. Off target with his three. Very little success for him behind the arc today. Just one three pointer in the first half and still none in the second. The first one falls for it. So he picks up just one from the line that time. Number 33. Nice D from Black. Getting blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. There's the three. Here's Brooks. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Really an extraordinary game for Brooks. 
17 rebounds. And he's done his job at the charity stripe. He's gotten four of his points from there. And that's a good place to get them. You know, they don't come easier than that. But you've got to get yourself there first. You got this, baby, yeah! That free throw, no good. Free throws. Gone two of six from the field here in the third. The jump hook. Nice D from Brooks. And the defense did a pretty good job of closing off the middle once he got inside the lane. Robinson passes to Black. Dishes to Anthony. And play stops as it looks like they call it over the back here. Obviously, he's not afraid of physical play, but he still needs to play in control. And he definitely wasn't in control that time. Everybody in the building knew it was an over-the-back call. The visitors with the ball. Since the second half started, they've only given up three points. The tray. And it's rebounded by Black. Being only 21% from the field so far. The layup off target. Just 33% struggling to get good looks. He kicks to Woolridge. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Francis guarded by Woolridge. Shot to stop the drought. And that one's good. They've been doing a great job of sharing the ball. Excellent display of team play. Yeah, they love great teamwork. Yeah, so much fun to watch when the ball is moving. Uh, there's kind of a, a, a rhythm to the game that just happens. The ball moves almost on its own, Kevin. It's fun to watch. Yeah, he has to be frustrated by how his offense is flowing. And I can't blame him. You know, they're getting good looks out there, but the shots just aren't falling. And that can get into a team's head if it goes unchecked, continuing to miss good shots. So this timeout might be a way to combat that. Kicks it to Pierce. Whoops, anticipated the pass. Turnover. The eight foot. And Pierce pulls it down. Pierce has got his third rebound tonight. Here's Francis. Shot is off. Gone one of four and three-point shots here in the third. Number 11, Pierce you. covering. Number 24. Can't get the chip in. Gone 4 of 12, shooting from the floor. Only 33%. Outside, Pierce. He tries to three. The shot will not go. Number 1. He hands it with authority. What a play. The hoop plus the arm. Excellent concentration on the finish. That's big time. This will be his third free throw shot of the game. Wait a they could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Sure could, Kevin. I mean, too many empty trips. They need some points. That was simply a defensive breakdown there, Kevin. He was all alone for that shot. It was a warm-up jumper. Number 24. He come right back with a three of his own. It's no good. There's the dish to Woolridge. That's blocked. Tries to save it. Brooks outside. From 13. Number five. No good with the way. But an eight rebound advantage like the one they have now is always going to swing the score hard in that team's direction. And that's only been the case today. Their rebounding has made a huge difference. Being at rough 22% so far in this one. A big dunk at the end of the break. What a smooth finish. Well, he's certainly the one they want on the end of those breaks. He always finishes strong. They're making this a runaway. Well, the only question now is how big will this lead eventually become? I mean, this is a blowout. He put that lead pass in perfect position for his teammate. 
He feeds it to Pierce. No good off the front line. Well, that was not a smart play there. That, that's a wild shot. They can get something better. No, that's not smart basketball. He should have passed that shot up. First free throw is good. And so he hits both. They didn't shoot it well from the line in the first half. But they've turned it around here, and it's helped them secure the lead. I mean, free throw shooting is important when you're trying to pad a lead. And a pretty brutal 29% since the break. Number two, Brooks covering. Number two, off target from the baseline. And you know why he was open there. They didn't commit too much defense to him, and you can see why. He has trouble making that shot. And that one's good. The visitors with the ball. This one for three. And Pierce pulls it down. Pierce has got four rebounds in this game. It's been a tale of two halves, huh, guys? He was on fire from long range in the first half, but not so much here in the second. Looking at a 32% clip from the field. They're just not executed. Number one. And a draw from three-point range. In a pretty brutal 29% since the break. And he's knocked off course by the D. The foul call. He'll shoot free throws. And the first one drops. Great game for him. Just one more rebound. He'll have the double-double. Well, he's been causing a lot of trouble down low. And that one's good. 12 points for him. The defenders need to talk to each other. The communication lacking there on that three-pointer. Anthony, the pass to Black. Back to Anthony. He dishes it to Robinson. Brooks. Blocked. And here is Woolridge. Kick it out, kick it out. Number 11. That one wide left. That's a shot he's got to hit. And you don't get too many better looks from that range. And the pass to Robinson. Offensive rebound. Brooks. Another shot. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. He's really gotten to the line frequently in the game, but only shooting 5 of 10. Kevin, not the kind of results he'd like from the free throw line in this game. No, he, he has not found any consistency at all. He's really struggling with that shooting stroke. an ugly 27% since halftime. From past the arc. Shot no good. The clear look at the hoop. He doesn't miss many of those. Pass to Black. From deep. Here's Anthony. He hangs. And the defense didn't have position. They whistle a blocking foul and he'll go to the line. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. And he makes the first. Pierce is checked in for Brooks. Oh, 
And he makes the first, but misses the second. 32% overall right now, not one of their better showings. Number one. It's rebounded by Black. And 23% from the field. That's not going to get it done. Here's Anthony. Swiped away. We've got 123 left in the third quarter. And Pierce pulls it down. Anthony off a bit from Black. Anthony drives in. First free throw is good. Robinson hits them both. One oh five left in the third quarter. Number eleven. And a miss there on the triple. Now, here is Robinson. He started close. Off with the layup. Right side, Woolridge. Number 24. A beautiful reverse layup. He's got 19. Oh, he got him. Gorgeous reverse. The feet to Pierce. And air balls the triple. That one was way off. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game. Play. And the three off target. Robinson with it. He has five. Passes to Francis. Here's the three. No luck. You know, one of the basic fundamentals in basketball is the ability to box out. He's got that down pat. Here's Woolridge. And Pierce pulls it down. On deep. He got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. The three quarters of play all in the books, and this one all but over already. The away team delivering the blowout. And we're just moments away from the start of the fourth quarter. Stay with us. And thanks again for joining us. Let's see what happens here in the fourth. Fires for three. a rough 22% so far in this one. There's the pass to Francis. Brooks outside. There's the steal. Number 10. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. He's off on the first. Oh, come on. You're miss it. Good on the second free throw. Now Harris. Number 55. The quick look, no good that time. Being only 31%, their offense really struggling to put possessions together. Woolridge's shot is off. And it's Harris, the drive. And he drew the blocking foul. He'll go to the line for two.
That's good from Harris. Quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. Number 11. Oh, good with the triple. Let's it go from 14. No good from Francis. Gone one or two from three point range here in the fourth. Number 11. Off the mark there with the three point shot. A rough 22% so far in this one. Francis. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. You got these, no problem. And free throw good from Francis. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. Pass to Woolridge. Number two. Time. He would have been lucky to knock that shot down. Yeah, that kind of shot will definitely get you a great ball from the court and maybe get you a seat on the bench, too. That's doing some skyscraping. And we're talking about a point guard there, Kevin. He can really raise up. A flashy pass, monster dunk, uh, whatever it is. I mean, this guy's got the versatility to do it. That's good from Anthony. Gone 105 from the field here in the fourth. A lot of misses, just the one make. Outside, Woolridge. Number 33. That one's on. Still out of seat. Pass to Black. Shoots a three. And Woolridge pulls it down. Tell you what, the defense has nothing to worry about out there with him shooting. I mean, he can't dial it in from deep this half at all. Number three. Nailed from three-point land. This defense is giving their shooters free reign to operate from beyond the arc. That's right. I think it's time for them to start closing down. You've got to run shooters off that three-point line. That is good. How about that? They respond to a three-pointer with a quick three of their own. Yeah, terrific. Great back-and-forth sequence right there. Now here is Woolridge. Number 33. They get it yeah, Number mean. three. Foul call. Looked like the D didn't get there in time, and he'll shoot free throws. And he knocks down the first one. second so he makes them both gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter here's black that's in there anthony with the assist anthony's got four assists in the game gone two of five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter number 33 second shot opportunity and it's good on the way up yeah, and guys, it's his consistent shooting that's really helped get his team into a position they're in right now. Anthony kicks to Robinson. The three-pointer no good. And just 30% from the field here in the fourth. Number 11. And 
count the basket. He is fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. What a play. The hoop plus the harm. Excellent concentration on the finish. That's big time. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Passes it to Francis. Pierce. Robinson for three. Number five. Pierce. A follow up champ. Tell you what, they want to do a better job of boxing this fellow out than that. No one between him and the hoop. You're right, Clark. Yeah, put back slams are not what you want to be giving up if you're the defense. Now here is Woolridge. Number 10. And it's going to be out of bounds. They'll keep possession. Number 24, defended by Black. That's off target. Not sure why he took that one. Gone. Four of ten here in the final period. Not the time to go cold. Outside Anthony. Back to Robinson. Let's it go with a three. Can't hit the quick break. He's gotten a lot of individual defensive attention all game long. And I think it's really bothered him and thrown him off. That is a pretty finish. The defense did all they could there. But he just outwilled it. And the ball travels out of bounds. Turnover. Where was he going with that pass? I mean, that's just an awful turnover. This could get even more out of hand if they continue to put up points. What an offensive performance it's been. Got that bucket in in no time at all. He's got 23. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today, ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass? Well, if you just looked at assist as the measuring stick, they've been by far the better team. And 32 percent overall right now, not one of their better showings. from deep. That's good. Boy, they've come out of halftime just smoking hot from behind the arc. Hey, trust me on this one, partner. They are going to continue to let them fly. Looking to end the run. The shot is off. That's a bold move. Trying to respond to that three, but he couldn't convert. Down low. Pierce with the steal. And now Pierce running the floor. All by himself. And the defense just lets him go there. And once he hit the open floor, there was no looking back. Straight to the rack. Gone 7 to 16 from the field here in the fourth. That's about 43%. Number 10. Brooks covering. Nice D from Brooks. Getting some tough luck from three-point range. In the fourth quarter, they've hit just one of six from deep. Again, Pierce missing. Gone over and over to the three-point shot in the fourth quarter. Four of nine. The three. Robinson pulls it in. And the pedestrian 36% in the fourth quarter. The offense not doing their best work of late. Feeds it to Pierce. From the corner. Again, Pierce missing. Looked like he rushed that one, guys. The defense was out of position. He was wide open. Just couldn't take advantage. Tipped. Francis passes to Pierce. Oh! Well, they Outside Robinson. Three pointer. That's good. He had one in the first as well. He can be dangerous. Keep an eye on him. And about 40% here in the fourth quarter. Number 33. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Been a disaster. 25% from the field so far. Here's Francis. They get the rebound. Oh, 
dishes it to Robinson. And another shot. Number five. He makes no mistake on the slam dunk. Thirty-two percent overall right now. Not one of their better showings. Back to Woolridge. Number ten and a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Sinks the second. He kicks it to Pierce. Robinson knocks down the three ball. And he's now got the double double. 11 points and 10 rebounds. Now here is Woolridge. 157 left to play here in the fourth. Number 33, number 10, and the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. And that puts a cherry on top, so to speak, of what's been a phenomenal showing for them. All over but the whining now, Steve. Now here's Pierce, Brooks, number five, one shot, no good. Well, the shot was there for him, and he had to take it. I don't care if he didn't convert, he's got to take that every time. Here's Woolen. Number 10. It's going to be a goaltending call here, so they'll count the bucket. He almost got to that shot in time, but not quite. You can't touch the ball once it's on the way down. And that call gets an instant reaction from the fans. Well, that's a whistle that did not go over very well. Being only 35% in the fourth quarter, the offense looking a little rickety. Francis passes to Pierce. Launches it. Shot is off. How about the effort we're seeing from him on the boards? He's already in double figures. Yeah, and more importantly, Steve, his rebounds are leading the team. And so out of bounds it goes. And they retain possession. Harris has checked in for Robinson. Fifty-four seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Number thirty-three. <laughs> again, and that's two points on the way. Well, guys, tonight they came in here and really dictated the terms of the engagement, which is very difficult to do as the visitors. You're right. That's not usually the way things work in the NBA. It's a great win, and no question, it's going to be a happy boy. Boy, I'm shocked he didn't make that one. He, he usually knocks that one down with ease. Number 10, Pierce covering. Number 10. And there's a nice one-handed slam. Crashes the offensive glass and gets a slam dunk for his effort. I like the work. You know, Clark, pretty easy for him once he got a handle on the ball. Yes, but, sir. You know, you're never going to get a more quality chance than off an offensive rebound. Francis passes to Harris. Kicks to Brooks. They need this. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Come on, you can hit this. No good on the free throw. That's off as well, so he misses both. 
The visiting club takes the win on the road. They put on a show tonight thoroughly controlling each end of the floor. Hey, what more can you ask? Thanks for joining us for this presentation of NBA basketball on 2K Sports. For Doris Burke, Steve Kerr, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying see you next time. But first, let's check out the Jordan player of the game. Welcome to the NBA here on 2K Sports. Monday hoops coming up. It's the away team going up against the home team. And now time to hand things over to Kevin Harlan, Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke. I'll be back. It's time for the NBA, live on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg alongside. And our sideline report tonight is Doris Burke. A quick check now for starting five for both teams. And for the home team... Number 23, defended by Bowman. Jones backs for two, and he gets it to go from the corner. And he's on the board early. The first to strike there. Nice hoop. He kicks it to James. Throws it from outside. Oh, he's going to keep banging those home if you give him that much space. Number two. 
on the muscle back, but that three is off the mark. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Hey, Kevin. I had a chance to catch up with the visiting team's head coach. He'd like them to concentrate defensively on slowing the game down. There's simply too much speed in their opponent, and to get into a run-and-gun type of game is not to their advantage, guys. All right, Doris. Number 23. Knocks down the three ball. The defenders need to talk to each other. The communication lacking there on that three-pointer. Back to James. Lets it go with a three. It's rebounded by Reese. Boy, I'm shocked he didn't make that one. He, he usually knocks that one down with ease. They grab their own miss. He gets it to go. Five points in the game. Strong rebound, and he's rewarded with the easy putback. Jones outside. Pass the bottom. Here's the three. The shot no good. And that's a shot you can't pass up. He, he should knock that down. Offline with his three. Gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. Pulls it up. From out on the wing, he knocks it down. Boy, that is a tough shot. Gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. Number 23. That three off the mark. Gone one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Feeds it to James. Off target from outside. James has gone one of three on the night. There's the pass to Reese. It's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. This is his first chance at the line tonight. Easy point. Come on. That's good from Reese. Gone two of five here, making 40% so far to start off the game. Passes it to Bowden. He feeds it to James. I'll take it with his three. It has not been an easy quarter for him, at least offensively speaking. Pass to Reese. And this way. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that's right. Kevin, the offense has basically been running in place. They got to get going. Launches a three. Cut the bucket. And in his first quarter, about three minutes played. And here's Jim's outside. Can't get it to go. He's jacked up a number of threes, but his accuracy has been lacking. Time to try something different, if you ask me. Well, I tell you what, that's too good a look to pass up there. Even though it didn't go, that's one you got to take. Got that one up quick. Gone two of five from three-point land here in the first quarter. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Number two, and he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. 33% here in the first quarter. And there's the pass to Bowden. Number 25. The shot goes down and gets this game back to even. He's got six. And 36% in this first quarter trying to get their bearings. Number two. A target from three-point range. Gone four of ten shooting the ball here in the first quarter. Passes to Bowden. Number 35. Good boy, good boy. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead. Number 23. James covering. Number 23. It's rebounded by Bowden. Bowden's got his third rebound on the night. Leads him in there. Number 10. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. He's off on the first. Good at the 
strike this time. The second misses also. For three. Here's Reese. Zero. Number 25. That one off the back iron and out. Well, I think the defense got lucky right there. I mean, he's going to make a lot more of those than he misses when he's got that much room. To the point, it's tipped. James outside. Number 25. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. And he's got his first free throw of the game. frustrated by how his offense is flowing. I, mean, I can't blame him. You know, they're getting good looks out there, but the shots just aren't falling. And that can get into a team's head if it goes unchecked, continuing to miss good shots. So this time out might be a way to combat that. at this point. Yeah, really at both ends of the floor. Nothing seems to be going their way. For the three. Kept alive. Smith kicks to Forbes. Back to Smith. No luck. 33% here in the first quarter. Doubled by Smith. And that one ends up out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. A beautiful reverse layup. Beautiful reverse. He got his glide on and left the D in the rear view mirror. Being in the early going here. Oh, pretty good oh. 22%. Kicks it to four. Puts up a three. Oh, that is good. Back to Johnson. on the shot clock. Offensive rebound. And a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. You gotta love the low post offense. That was beautiful. A three-point spread on the scoreboard. Dishes it to Forbes. Number 23. Drops in the tray. He's got eight. What are they thinking leaving him with all that space out there? Do they not know? Have they not heard that this guy is unbelievable? That's a layup for him. Here is Forbes. Releases. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Well, there was no hand in his face right there. I thought for sure he was going to knock that down. Games. The putback. Slams it home for the putback. Was there any doubt what he was going to do with that putback? Flush it down. Oh, that's some energy we just witnessed right there. Uh, and that's the kind of energy you need on the offensive glass. That's the only way to get it done. It's no good. 
Number 23. Oh, good on the triple. He certainly didn't take advantage of the poor defense, but they can't count on him to continue missing. No, that's for sure, because this guy's too good of a shooter to miss that look consistently. Now Smith, still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. That's good. Get it, get it, get it. on two or three from the field. He dishes it to Gaines. And poor shot selection there, not a high percentage look for him. It's still early, but they've started to establish themselves on the glass here. Yeah, that's due to their physical play. They're scrapping and clawing for each and every rebound out there. Number 25. Good, it's Johnson with the assist that time. He's got 10. Great move to the hoop, and I love the finger roll finish. Gone three of six, shooting from the field, 50% so far. There's the feed to four. Gets it over the rim and out. Nobody anywhere close to him. Where's the defense? He's got to make that shot, though. Johnson kicks it to Gaines. Number 25. Rebound by Smith. Still a by his shot selection right there, Clark. It really was. I mean, very low percentage shot. Took him no time at all on that one. 44 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Clark David struggling here on offense. Yeah, a little bit of cat and mouth here. Dry spell for sure. The dish to Johnson. He passes the games. <laughs> 29 seconds left to play here in the first. Launches it. Boy, this has been fucking up ugly for him this quarter. He hasn't hit a thing out there. The Trey. Up again. Zero. Cleans up the mess with the savage put back flush. What terrific hustle. He's got a nose for those rebounds. Clark, he's ferocious when that ball goes up. Well, he's an energy guy. That's exactly why they have him out on the floor. Yeah, Number 25. And this is where he had it gone in. The basket's coming early and often in the first quarter. The home team, up six. Let's take a quick break now, and then it's on to the second quarter after this. Now the second quarter getting ready to start up. And guys, what's your take on the home team so far? Boy, a ton of threes in that first quarter. This team really lighting it up, guys. Yeah, it's been an onslaught from downtown. Being a low, low 30% right now. An ugly offensive performance. Back to Johnson. He kicks to Gaines. Pass to Johnson. And it's Johnson again missing. And 33% for the night. That's a big throw on their side right now. Jones drives in. Smith can't hit from the low block. Feeds it to Gaines. And a drop from three-point range. Pass to four. Takes a three. The rebound by Johnson. Gone 0 or 2 from deep here in the second. Shot from the wing. It's rebounded by Forbes. I'll tell you what, the mid-range shot is not the easiest one to make. When you got daylight like he had there, I mean, those are shots you want to make. Well, it looks like he's cooled down a bit after hitting those two in the first quarter. 
On the wing, Johnson. There's the triple. Rebound by Smith. Not a good look at the hoop. They've got to do a better job offensively creating some space. On the wing, Jones. That's it go. Nice shot from the wing. Second quarter of basketball, just over a minute and a half played. He feeds it to Gaines. Johnson. And they call over the back here. Too much contact. Well, he's boxed out, and when that happens, you know, you, at some point, you have to just turn and get back defensively. That time, he went right over the top. Yeah, but you go straight on the top of another player's back, that's going to be a foul call every time. Gotten only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. The pass to Forbes. Shoots a three. Gotten off to a rough start here in the second quarter. Over five. James has a two-pointer. Rebounded by Forbes. Forbes has got three rebounds so far in the game. I'd love to see them impose their will a little bit more on the backboard. Usually that's a great way to take control of the game. Well, they haven't been able to do that yet, but it's something they're certainly capable of. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. You know, even from here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Yep, pretty obvious. And a good call by the official. And he can't get the first one. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. This is it to Jones. Here's Reese. It's rebounded by Gaines. Got nothing but zeros from long range in the second quarter. All of four. Kicks it to James. This is the Gaines. Number 35. And the three off target. In just 29% in this game, they are not a pretty side out there offensively. Here's Forbes. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. He hit a three in the first, but so far has been unable to capitalize here in this quarter. From downtown, can't get it to go. It's just been one of those days for him. He has really struggled. From deep, James. It's rebounded by Reese. Not sure why he's insisting on shooting from out there. It's just not working for him right now. And the bucket counts, and he's on his way to the free throw line. Try to make it a three-point play. Oh, what a play. The hoop plus the harm. Excellent concentration on the finish. That's big time. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played, Clark, they've been looking out of sync offensively. You know what? A basket here would do a lot for their confidence. He needs to get them back into a flow offensively. You know, things have gotten stagnant for them, and they're starting to force some of these shots. And that can snowball on you. One guy takes a bad shot, then another guy does, and then you're missing back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back shots, and all of a sudden, you have no rhythm and you're self-inflicting wounds. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Number 35. Misses the three. He dishes it to Jones. All good on the three. Being a rough 22% so far in this one. Pass to Bowden. Lots of room. No good. Most of the time, that shot will go down. Boy, the defenders have to make sure they tag. It's no mistake on the slam dunk. Wonderfully instinctive play right there. Since just where that rebound was going, and it becomes an easy two-point. Well, maybe they had too many 
easy buckets tonight. Well, that's something that needs to change. I mean, they should not be getting all these easy dunks off offensive putbacks. He just has not been able to get into that groove yet, guys. But as a whole, it hasn't affected them too much. Here's James. It's rebounded by Reese. Guys, they've really built a nice lead. And I tell you what, I don't see any sign of them slowing down. Jones, that's for two. Green for two points. Jones has got six. Jones has gone three of six from the floor. Bowden, the pass to James. Will it go? That's good. That's his first triple of the game. It was a dry first half for him from long range. The feed now to Jones. Beyond the up. And James pulls it down. James has got his third rebound on the night. The dish now to Gaines. Well, up off time. Well, the effort was there, but he just couldn't quite fight his way through track. The pass to Reese. Defended by Bowden. He kicks it to Jones. Here's Reese. Misses the baby hook. He was right up tight on him on that attempt. Terrific D to throw off the shot. And he did it without making too much contact and getting the official's attention either. Well done from Bowden. Now Jones. He's got six. There's the three. And James pulls it down. Gone one of four from the field. Number 10. Get a chance to trim it to single digits. 13 feet away. Great tee that time from Bowden. Gone one for five from the field, 20%. Number 35. Good on the shot, and that shaves the lead to single digits. Five points in the game. That's a clean look they gave him there, fellas, and he drains those. Boy, he wants to get everybody on the same wavelength, that's for sure. He may change up some things here as well. Looks to me like he saw something that wasn't on the plan, and pick now is the time to address it. I don't have a problem with that. In just 28%, they are offensively out of whack and out of step with each other at this point. This one for three. It's rebounded by Bowden. Bowden's got five rebounds tonight. The open shot by Johnson. Great look, but off the mark. He can't get anything to drop. I and mean, the way he's going, I'm not sure it's something he should try to shoot his way out of. No, that might only serve to make things worse, Steve. Sometimes the harder you try, the worse it gets. Hit the putback. Oh, boy, he is just cold as ice. I don't think he's going to be the one to help them cut into the lead. Quick shot there, and it's off target. And it seems like nothing is falling for him this quarter. He's really out of his rhythm. Pass to James. From the arc. Oh, good from Bowden. Bowden's gotten just one of seven of his shots to go. Well, that's his second foul, and he does not want to pick up number three here. That'll mess your game up for sure. Easy, boys. Come on. First free throw is good. Both free throws. Being a dismal 20% for the game. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've had a number of empty ones a long time without a basket. They gotta find something you like. And this has not at all been the kind of performance they've needed out of him. The rebound by Johnson. Number 10. And that one goes in as he is fouled. It'll be three points if he converts at the line. They haven't had as much success in the paint here. Everything is from the perimeter. They're settling too much for what's going on on the outside. They've got to get back to getting it inside. Master Reese, a 
Rebound. Good hit. That was not a simple rebound. He made it look easy, but he did a good job in bodying up his man. James left side. Rebounded by Reese. A slight advantage for them in the rebound category. They've got to continue their work on the glass. Yeah, I agree with you, Steve. I mean, they're on the right side of the ledger, and that is all that matters to them right now with the lead they have. Now here's James. Here's Johnson. And he is still scoreless. It looks like he doesn't even want to be out there. Number five. The shot's good from Reese. He has six. But the defense just looked a little lazy on the glass there. Yeah, nobody boxing out. That's inexcusable. Got 118 left in the first half. He has space, and he gets the jumper to drop. Starting to get a little momentum here after that scoreless first quarter. And about 26% out there. They need to get a better look. Number 11. Zero. It's good, and he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. Three-point play chance here. Trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And the free throw, no good. Another trip to the strike for him, and I'll tell you what, a little bit of a different feel here in the second quarter. A little more banging going on. This team is never afraid to get physical. I think they enjoy this style of play. Johnson up top. Number 35. Rebound by Smith. Full of by shot selection right there, Clark. He really was. I mean, very low percentage shot there. Jones from outside. And the basket good. Jones has got nine. It was a slow start for him. But he started to take off since we hit the second quarter, guys. Jacks up a three. That's good. Well, he's really starting to get in the flow now. A nice groove. That's his second here in the quarter. After none in the first. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. Gets it to go. He has six. How about that for a response? They will say they can give the three as well as they can take the three. Feeds to Johnson. Shoots the three. Rebound by Smith. Smith's got his sixth rebound on the night. Number five. Can't hit. So we've reached the end of the first half of play. The home team, they lead by 13. And coming up after the break, it'll be Damon Bruce breaking down all the highlights from the first half of play. And now, brought to you by Sprint. It's halftime, and I'm Damon Bruce, ready to bring you our halftime show. The home team is on a tear right now. Their work on the offensive boards, a big factor, great effort out there. On the other side, the away team not off to a great start. Awful free throw shooting has been a major thorn in their side. It's been ugly. That's all we've got here. Now, back to Kevin, Steve, Clark, and Doris for the second half. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. And we welcome you back to the NBA here on 2K Sports. If you're just tuning in, this is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. And we're ready to get going once more. The players have a chance to have a short break and get some rest themselves and get refueled and hydrated with some good More terrific basketball in store for us tonight. Gets it to go. I don't know who was supposed to be on him there, but clearly a mistake by the defense. Number 23. No good for Nassau. 
He's normally a really big threat from long range. Struggling right now, he might need to mix his game up a little bit. That's the bottom. Fires from deep. And Jones pulls it down. Number five, defended by Bowden. Number five, and a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. This is his second trip to the line in this one. You guys no and the first one at the line is good. So he hits both free throws. Gone 0 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. And the pass to Bowden. On the wing, James. From outside, off the mark. Still a bit chilly from the field at the start of this third quarter. 1 of 4 so far. All sorts of time. No good. Gone just one of their first four shots to fall since coming on the line with the break. Let's it go from deep. The shot is off. Tell you what, shooting 20% to start the second half doesn't bode well for how this will play out for this squad. Great tee that time from James. Three straight misses here to start the second half. Inside, number 10. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Well, at least the defender got his money's worth on that one. Yep, that was an easy whistle for the official. This is his third trip to the free throw line in the game. Come on, on baby. second from the line. Over a minute and a half into the third quarter of action. Number 23. Hands it from downtown. 13 points in the game. And they get one to go now after missing their first three shots. Maybe this will kick them into gear. Here's Bowden. A ten shot. That misses off the bat. That was not pretty there. You got to make that one, but I think that's not his range. Wide open. The shot no good. Fires the three, and that one's good. Bowden's got five. No matter who it is, that kind of defense is not going to cut it. Gone one or two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. Gone just 25% from the field here in the second half for two of eight. Three-pointer. Cannot hit. Seems like he's gotten every single rebound today. Glass eating at its finest. I mean, you're not going to see a guy with 20-plus boards too often. That's an impressive number. A decent amount of time left as they try to find a way back into it. Not time to panic yet, guys. Steve? Well, it will be soon if they don't cut into this lead quickly. He's forcing shots offensively, hurting his team in the process. He needs to trust his teammates more. Let's check in for Jones. Baseline jumper. Can't get it to go. Being a rough 22% so far in this one. Here's Bowden. The feather touch on the finger roll. Beautiful. Bowden's got seven. Gotta love the finger roll up and over the defense. Knocked away. 
number 25. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Way to play in attack mode and get inside. And you know, if you're on defense and you're going to foul, make sure it's a good one. They did, preventing the and one. The first one falls. second so he makes them both gone one of three from downtown since halftime number 11 but quick look no good that time well the shot was there for him and he had to take it i don't care if he didn't convert he's got to take that every time passes it to bowden that's in there johnson with the assist johnson's got his third assist on the night He's definitely turned things around in this game. I mean, he was more of a background player in the first half. He's jumped center stage now. Oh, target with the open look. Being just 33% in the second half so far. They need to look at more high-quality shots. Now, he's their top rebounder. He's doing an excellent job on the glass today. Well, I tell you what, I love the effort he's shown on the board today, Steve. He's been fantastic. That's a blocking foul, and he'll shoot free throw. good on the free throw. And the second free throw, good. And around 24%, not a good showing here. Wide open look. Will not go. This is off the front line. Being only 27% from the field, looking pretty ugly out there. Number 11. The rebound by Johnson. Johnson's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Steps back and fights. A follow up flush. Showing us a little force on that putback there. Well, there was no way he was going to let that chance slip away. No, sir. Now, you got to love his positioning. As the shot went up, he anticipated that play. All alone. They get him again. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. The first free throw is good. This is a positive trend for him, especially here in the second half. Shooting just above 80% right now. And that's more than respectable. That's good free throw shooting. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. They're doing a great job here in the second half. They've brought their free throw percentage up quite a bit. And that's winning basketball. That's one of the ingredients in winning basketball. Good free throw shoot. Another miss by Johnson. He's playing selfishly now, guys. He's just trying to get as many shots up as he can. Doesn't look at all concerned about his teammates. And Clark, they're going to have to make a pretty big comeback here. Yeah, I think so. But I don't think the Clark is a factor right now. At least not set. I mean, they don't need to change their pace of play. Keep attacking. Yeah, I agree. You gotta make sure you take your time, but, but start to be more effective and efficient with each possession. And you gotta buckle down defensively. He's shooting free throws, number four in five here. That free throw, no good. He doesn't get the second one. And 23% from the field. That's not going to get it done. And it's Johnson back there. Cutting into that lead a little bit. Way to finish. And the basket is still shaking. Oh, man. He's got so much power.
Gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Get through, get through, get through. Number 11. The three pointer, no good. Well, remember, he made two three pointers in the first half, but has not been able to get anything to fall here in the second. Well, three from Johnson. Johnson missing again. I'll tell you what, the way he's been going this quarter, guys, they're going to need somebody else to pick up the slack. They get the rebound. Can't hit the reverse layup. If they could end every possession with that shot, they'd be happy. Nine times out of ten, that's an easy layup. And that one's good, James. Great-looking bounce pass to set up that play. Smith right side. It's Jones on the wing. Three pointer. The rebound by Johnson. Johnson's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Smooth as silk on the finger roll. 14 points for him. Now they've done a great job of getting into the middle of that defense and scoring in the paint. Well, and that's why they're on this run, guys. They're getting the ball inside and getting really high percentage looks. Now, here is Smith. Outside, Jones. Oh, the miss by Jones. They set the pitch. Number 25. The shot, no good. You're not doing your team any good forcing a shot like that one. No, I agree. He's got to know better than that. Number 11. Offensive rebound. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. You got this, baby, yeah! And free throw missing. either coming up empty that time being just 33 percent in the second half so far they need to look at more high quality shots being a pretty pitiful 25 percent in this game offensively they can't get anything going he feeds it to Forbes a three-pointer is right on target Forbes has got six points and about 26 percent out there they need to get a better look Number 35. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Number two is guarded by Johnson. Trying to break that unscored streak, and that one hits back iron. And I'll tell you what, this has been one ugly quarter for him. And it keeps getting ugly. I mean, his touch is basically going AWOL. Another shot. Some solid defense from four. Now, bad timing. His team trailing, and this has not been a quarter that he'd like to remember. The shot is off. You see the defenders get out of his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the bucket, but not that time. Back to James. Jumper off the screen. Rebound by Smith. That's a shot he's got to hit. And you don't get too many better looks from that range. First one drops. So he picks up just one from the line that time. Kicks to James. James right side. Number 10. It's rebounded by Forbes. Forbes has got six rebounds now in the game. Shoots from 12. And James pulls it down. James has got nine rebounds now tonight. He passes to Bowden. From past the arc. They get it back. No good with the win. 
five seconds separating the shot and game blocks. Pass to Reese. The three. Can't get it to go. Being an ugly 27% since halftime. To the inside. Number 10. And he uses the glass on the layup. Eight points for him. Well, they certainly didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Well, that's important because in this game, I think, is going to be decided by who controls the paint in crunch time. Here's Bowden. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. The home team, they're up by four. We've got more in store for you right after this. We welcome you back to what has been a good one here as we get into the fourth quarter. And around 24%, not a good showing here. Dishes at the fours. That's the three fly. Can't get it to go. Not sure if he just ran out of gas or what, Kevin, but he's been awful ever since the second half started. Not even been a fight. three. Rebounded by Forbes. Forbes has got rebound number seven for him tonight. Expanding his range. And they will call over the back on the play. Well, he's boxed out. And when that happens, you know, you, at some point, you have to just turn and get back defensively. That time he went right over the top. Yeah, but you go straight on the top of another player's back, that's going to be a foul call every time. Forbes has gotten just two of his seven attempts from deep to fall here. On the wing, Johnson, from outside the arc, and the shot is good. Well, it took him a long time to get that three-point range. Maybe this will get him going. Gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Fourth quarter of basketball. We're about a minute into it. Number 23. Has them out there with the three-point shot. Gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. To take the lead. The shot is off. Gone all three to start the fourth quarter. Down low. Jones drives in. Swiped away. Fourth quarter now. We're about a minute and a half in. From deep, Johnson gets the bucket. Johnson's got six in the quarter. Well, as we move into the fourth, it's been an even game. Yeah, it has been. Neither team able to create any significant separation so far. Steve? Yeah, that's right, guys. Uh, the lead has now changed hands five times. Get there, get there. No, no, no. no. Oh, oh, quick to a go. Gotten off four three pointers in the final quarter, and two of them a foul. The basketball team fires the three. From deep. No. Oh, he's just launching from the three point line right now because I don't like his shot selection at all. Outside, Jones. Pass it to Reese. Got a piece of it. From down in the low post, it goes. And that's his forte. Finding that angle and then aggressively attacking the rim. Pass the Bowden. Fires for three. No luck. Nothing fancy about that play. Just good hard nosed basketball to haul in the board. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul. Shot misses. He'll be shooting two. Well, at least the defender got his money's worth on that one. Yep, that was an easy whistle for the official. Come on, you can hit this! And he makes oh, the first. Yeah. He hits both from the strike. gone two of seven from the field and what's been a cold start to the fourth quarter for them number 35 here's johnson now that's production from him and it's hurt his team 
Number 23. Offensive rebound. Goes back up. It counts. And the foul. Number 35. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. Mark, one thing we've seen from these guys is excellent ball movement. And you love to see that, Kevin. I mean, I love watching unselfish play. And I know Steve enjoys that, too. Yeah, that's the best part of the game. I mean, a five-man team game where the ball moves. has so much unselfish play. It's beautiful to watch. Here's Reese. Get him to go. Great defense that time from James. They can use a big shot here to get this offense going. Good, good, Kevin. I mean, too many empty trips. They need some point. Number 21. Nice work on the board. It's paying off with the best. That's some grit and determination in the post. Essential qualities to have late in a close game. Exactly. I mean, this is the time to attack on the interior and, and generate those easy opportunities. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. Hi, guys. I got a chance to hear what the home team head coach was saying to his players. He was absolutely adamant, saying, don't let them off the hook. Let's keep our foot on the pedal and keep doing the things that have gotten us here this far. We're almost home. On the wing, Jones. Here's Reese. The finger will finish at the bucket. And that's a double-double for him now. Ten points and 16 rebounds. Back to James. Takes the three. No luck. Well, he did have a three-pointer in the first half, but so far here in the second, he's come up empty. Uncovered. The shot misses. And little to no chance of that shot going in. Yeah, that was a tough one right there. Plenty of space. And he nails the jumper. And he's now got the double-double. Ten points and 15 rebounds. Gone ice cold from three-point land, all four since the start of the final quarter. Number five. And he's here on the triple. Kind of rare to see him come up empty on a wide open look. He dishes it to James. It's up a three. Shot is off. Well, that's another good rebound for him. It hasn't mattered at all that he's given up some inches to a few of the other guys on the floor. Number 11. Bangs on the top. Hector. Yeah, that's his first three of the half. There may be more in store. Being in this fourth quarter, pretty dire at 27 percent. All alone, it's rebounded by Reese. Getting some tough luck from three point range. In the fourth quarter, they've hit just one of six from deep. That's one he knows he should have made. On the wing, James. Number 10. He shoot again. The shot's good from Bowden. Bowden's got 10 points in just the second half. They have a little extra mojo going here, a little extra pep in their step, more hustle in this second half. They're doing a much better job in terms of second chance point. The shot misses. Been a pretty pitiful 25% in this game. Offensively, they can't get anything going. James outside, looking to get back on track here. Number 10. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. One falls for The story in the first half was their low free throw percentage. They've corrected that here in the second half, and hopefully they can build on it as this game continues to progress. Both shots good from the strike. Being a paltry 33% in the fourth, not a good showing for this offense. Back to Jones. Now the pass to Reese. No good. That's an example there, guys, of contesting the shot and corralling the ball. That's really all you can ask of a guy at that end of the floor. On the wing, James. Three pointers off the mark. Well, it looks like it's in his head right now. It looks tight. He's not producing, and his team's struggling as well. And the wing jumper off line. That's some more rugged play from them inside. 
They have a decent edge in rebound thus far. And that hard work on the boards needs to continue. That could be what swings this game eventually. Now here's James, number 25. No good with the triple. Number 23 sinks the triple. Second three-pointer of the half, fourth overall. So he's having a nice game from outside. Guys are looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time getting the lid off the basket so far. Not a good showing here. There's the dish to Johnson. A three-pointer, no good. Well, they're trying to come back here, but you've got to get a better look at the basket to get it done. Number two is guarded by Johnson. There's Reese. And the layup's good off the glass. Well, they do have the lead right now, but they're not as much as they did in the first half. They kind of put it on cruise control. They have to rev up the motor a little bit here. Five points in the quarter. Well, he's having a great half here. Exactly the opposite of the first. In the paltry 33% of the fourth, not a good showing for this offense. Looked to me like the defender didn't get squared up and get his feet set. Good work by the officials. A nice call. That play can be tough to judge sometimes. Get open, get open. 130 left in the fourth quarter. Number five, defended by Bowden. Come to me, come to me. The defense has really gotten into his head a little bit here. He's not playing with any kind of confidence right now. He kicks it to James. That's the Bowden. And a miss there on the trigger. He's just 26% out there. A terrible showing from an offense capable of much better. Number five. Go get it, go get it. The shot will not go. Here's James. It's going to take something special, maybe a miracle, for them to come back right now. How about a little luck? Johnson can't hit. We got 33 seconds left in the game. Outside, Jones. Lock at six. Great tee that time from Johnson. I'm running low here. They need a hoop. Yeah, score quickly and then foul him right away. James, no good. Well, I think he had all the space he needed. He just couldn't find the bottom of the net. And that's an intentional foul. You got me, no problem. And that hurts as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now on the second. Yeah. 
And he ends up making the second, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Guys, your thoughts? Well, this one's out of reach, so I'm not sure why they're calling the timeout here. Maybe just to try to work on something, maybe an out-of-bounds play or something. Well, they might as well talk about what movies they want to see or what they want to surf on the Internet because this one's done, boys. Steve Kerr and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for joining us tonight in our presentation of NBA and 2K Sports. Now our Jordan player of the game. Damon Bruce here, and welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. Monday hoops coming up. It'll be Memphis facing off against Texas. And that's it for now. I'll see you again. And the players doing a little talking here before tip-off. It's all in good fun right now. Welcome, everyone. Let's get ready for some NBA basketball on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. And joining us a bit later from the sidelines, Doris Burke. The starting fives for our game. Here are tonight's starting lineups. First for Memphis. And for Texas.
And it's Texas to start out. It's Jones on the wing. Number three. Misses the three. Texas on D. Number 55. Foul called that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. This is his first free throw of the game. Very good on that one. And he sinks the second. Texas moving it around. Number two. I'll talk it with his three. Texas on D. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. Hey, Kevin. I had a chance to catch up with the visiting team's head coach. He's taking the pace and making sure that pace is up tempo is what he's hoping they can do in this one. He said we're fast, we know it, and we're going to make sure they know it too. And as always, Doris, thank you. Beautiful feed off the bounce to his teammate there. Nicely done. Number 11. Good, and the assist goes to Ellis. And just over a minute played here in the start of the game. The pass to Jones. And out of bounds is Memphis gains possession. And so it's Memphis with it. Number 10. The three-pointer no good. Texas has gone 0 of 2 from deep here. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. Texas shooting their first free throws of the game. You got this, yeah. First free throw is good. Jones nails both of them. First 130 gone here in the first quarter. For Memphis, they've gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. Number 10. A target from outside. Now Texas with it. Snatched away. And it's Memphis on the break. Number 11. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. Memphis shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. And you look at the numbers from a year ago, guys. This is a club that hit about 75% of its free throws. The first free throw is good. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And so here's Texas. Number three. And a miss there on the triple. Boy, they're fortunate. The defense was taking a big chance leaving him that wide open behind the arc. Number 11. Number 10. And it's off the back rim. No good. That's a shot he's got to hit. And you don't get too many better looks from that range. And he absorbed the foul and had a chance to knock it down. That's all you can ask right there. I like that play. For Texas, they have had two chances at the line already, making them both. Well, and they were 74% free throw shooting as a team last year, so those numbers could come up. And that one misses. Second one as well, so he was 0 for 2 that time. 
on the wing, Ellis. Number 11. And again, Memphis, no good. Texas has gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going on second. Kept the line. Number three. The layup off target. Well, he won't miss many of those, especially with the defender not in the best of positions there. The feed to Ellis. And a draw from three-point range. For Texas, they've gotten only one of six shots to drop for them to start this game. Jones drives in. And Jones sends it in. Guys back and forth this first half. Well, five knee changes early on, guys, as we grapple back and forth here. Well, this could be a, a back and forth game all the way, guys, yeah, the way it's being played. This is fun to watch. Got that one up quick. I'm not sure that was the play they had set up, but it was too good a look to pass up. For Texas, they've gone just two of seven so far. A little bit of a slow start to the First quarter play and uh, just over four and a half minutes in. Number 11. No good on the three. And very quickly here in the first quarter, pronounced advantage for them on the glass. Yeah, that's a trend they'd love to continue right through the next three quarters as well. Now Ellis, after the missed three from Jones. And the basket good. He has six. No matter who it is, that kind of defense is not going to cut it. Texas trails by three. All sorts of time, and Texas takes on two more. That was with it. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Good for nice shot. He's tried to get it going, but the shots just have not dropped for him today. Shot is blocked, but they recover it. Jones for three, and the shot is good. Jones has got nine points. Guys, seven times the lead has changed hands here. And we still aren't halfway through this contest yet. Yeah, that, that number could easily go up to double digits before this game is over. He's been anything but his usual self this quarter. It's actually been ugly to see. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. Texas shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And the first one at the line is good. And Memphis making a change here. He hits both from the strike. Here's Ellis. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Number 10. And another miss by Memphis. In terms of rebounding, it's been a sensational opening quarter. I like sensation. That's a good word for it. Memphis trails by four. Here's Jeffries. He uses both hands to slam it down. This game going to take a big swing. Clark, if the D continues to clear out like that and give up easy dunks. Yeah, that's the kind of defense we expect to see in a blowout, Kevin, or even an exhibition game, not a close game like this. Look how you frustrated know. Steve is over well, I just, his head. You know what, oh, Kevin? Disgusting. Come on, Kevin. I, I just like that he didn't choose to just lay it up. There. I mean, he threw it down with force. Texas shooting 36% in this first quarter, trying to get their bearings. Jones for three. Again, the miss by Jones. And for Memphis, they're shooting well off their usual numbers, around 29% so far. Three-pointer. Texas grabs the miss. Some of the shots he's taken have been real head scratches. I mean, come on. He's out there playing like it's a game of horse at the park. Drops in the tray. Jones has got 12. The more touches he gets, the more this lead will grow. He has just been unconscious this quarter. Feeds to Jeffries. There's the three. Yes, it's Ellis picking up the assist. Ellis has got his fourth assist in this one. 
How about that? They respond to a three-pointer with a, a quick three of their own. Yeah, terrific. Great back and forth sequence right there. Rebounded by Ellis. I thought he'd make that one. I mean, that's his range and the defense nowhere to be seen. And that's two fouls for him very early in this ball game. He'll probably have to spend some time on the bench before halftime. For Memphis, they have gone three of four at the free throw line tonight. Can't get the first one. And Memphis making a change here. And he's good on the second. A three ball. They get a pick. Take it. Take a look at the rebound totals, guys. That's plus five now on the glass. And Steve, I don't think there's any question which team came out with more energy and enthusiasm. Obvious foul. Yeah, he took a hit right there and earned those free throws. For Memphis, they have made four free throws from the line and missed two. That free throw, no good. doesn't get the second one. What's really hurt him, Kevin, is the missed free throws. you got to cash in on those free throws. Mm -hmm. You're right. Free throw shooting is so important. Well, that's why they call them free, Kevin. That's, it really is important to be able to get to the line and knock down the free throws. I mean, that keeps a lead if you have it. It allows you to come back if you're trailing, and it keeps pressure on the opponent. Cambridge can't make it work. Boy, for my taste, he's far too inconsistent with that shot. I mean, he's got to make those if he's going to take his game to the next level. Texas moving it around. Pass to Baker. Six on the shot clock. Yo, yo, the clock. And he drew the blocking foul. He'll go to the line for two. Texas shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. down the first one. And so he hits both. I think they've got to be more disciplined here, Kevin. Already way too many fouls and too many free points for the opponent. Number two. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. And that ties it up. D there, guys, was pretty much non-existent. I mean, you can't leave a good shooter like that open. Number 13. Trying to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Out of bounds, Texas takes possession. teams continuing to trade blows like heavyweights in the middle of the ring. So many times tonight, the energy in this building is going from one way to the other. The three. And it's the rebound. This is it to Baker. This is it to Williams. The second effort. Left side, Williams. Number 13. And the three off target. This quarter has not been his best. The defense may be starting to affect him a little bit. Here's the dish to Jeff. Number 14. 
14. Taking another shot. No luck. Williams with the defensive effort. Texas shooting only 28 percent here in the first. A shoddy game offensively for them so far. No good for Baker. Memphis trailing here. Putback cleans up the mess with the savage putback flush. This is just great anticipation. The putback jam. Oh, he had some big time intentions right there. And those plays will give your team a huge boost. And Texas calls time here. Well, like you were saying earlier, early fun is leading to the big deficit to start this game. Well, you never want to give a team three points. And you send them to the line because you're lazy or late defensively, and that just allows them to get cheap points, and you can't afford to do that. One oh seven left to play in the first. Hey, hey, come to me, come to me. Takes the three, and that one's good. The defenders need to talk to each other. The communication lacking there on that three-pointer. Memphis trails by three. He feeds it to Jeffries. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. Jeffries got his third bucket of the night. Jeffries gone three for four here from the field. Williams guarded by Harris. Number 33. His three corners off the mark. Just cannot find the rhythm. Still yet to hit a shot this quarter. Can't get it to go. Long well, three shooting so far. And there's the pass to Baker. About three off the mark. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Number two. Back to Harris. Releases. And that misses. That would have put him up. You know, when the shot's not there for you, you've just got to recognize it move the ball on. Yeah, I think he had tunnel vision right there. His only thought was to shoot it, no matter what else was going on. Number two. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Texas out in front. They're up by one. And we'll be back with you for the start of the second quarter when we return. And off we go. A close game now starting the second quarter. And guys, what's your take on Texas so far? And the key has been the second chance points. You look at this team, the, the hustle that they play with, uh, very impressive in that first quarter. Well, it's showing up on the scoreboard. I mean, you get second chance points like that. It can add to your totals and also demoralize your opponent. Number two. Hey, 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 hey. With a three-point shot. Texas shooting 27%. The offense is just embarrassing themselves. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. For Texas, they have shot 75% at the stripe. Six of eight. That free throw missing. the second from the line and so here's Memphis trailing by two pass to Harris number two number 14 that's a big time putback what a great motor this guy plays well, with there is no one who goes after those rebounds harder than that guy boy I love seeing that extra effort on the glass yeah and night in and night out that's exactly what he gives you and so here's Texas, following the score by Memphis. Number two. Chance there to take the lead, missing. Got one three-pointer tonight in four tries. Number 13. Rebounded by Jeffries. Jeffries got four rebounds now tonight. Thomas checked in for Memphis. Here in the second quarter with a little over Memphis. And again, Memphis 
is no good. I tell you what, that's too good a look to pass up there. Even though it didn't go, that's one you got to take. Number two, and blocked. Number 11, defended by Sims. Not wasting any time and taking the shot and knocking it down. He's got six. Not really the shot they were looking for, but still they got it to go. Pass to Baker. Puts it up. The shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. Memphis has gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. Number 11. They get it again. Here's Thomas. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Free throw good, Thomas. And Memphis making a change here. good for Thomas. For Texas, they've gotten only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. Jones from outside. Gets it to go. Jones has got 15. You know, there's no better sign of how efficiently a team is operating than their assist number. And theirs are fantastic. This is beautiful basketball to watch, Clark. Here is Jeffries. Eight points for him. Harris misses. That was not a simple rebound. He made it look easy, but he did a good job in bodying up his man. Rejected by Thomas. They retain possession. No good from Sims. For Memphis, they've gone just two of eight shooting here in the second quarter. Number 11. And the jumper calls for him. Eight points for him. And look at how the hustle game has been going for Memphis. Well, Kevin, in the first half of play, they're really closing out aggressively, blocking shots, and a key indicator of their activity defensively. Another big aspect of their game tonight has been the fast break, transition opportunity. They're really keeping it up tempo so far. So the whistle blows on the shot, and two free throws for the contact right there. What a stellar outing in this one for Jones. He has 15 points, and he's drained three three-point bombs so far. Tell you what, he should not hesitate to keep firing from out there because he's got the touch tonight. Come on, you can hit this. That free throw, no good. And Memphis making a change here. Good on the second free throw. Quarter number two, around three minutes gone by. He kicks to Jeffers. Let's the free fly. Texas grabs the miss. Kicks it to Jones. Here's the three. No good. Even with every shot clanging off the rim. He seems determined to keep hoisting up these three. It might be time to get inside of that arc. He dishes it to Jeffries. And it's dropped by Sims. And now here comes Jones in the break. Oh, and he can't cap off the break. And for Memphis, their shooting in the second quarter has been pretty embarrassing, just 27%. And another miss by Memphis. Texas has gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for him. No good on the wing three. He slipped into quite a funk here, Clark. I think that's a good word to describe it. I mean, the basket is looking awfully small to him at the moment. Down low. And stolen by Thomas. And here we go. Thomas heading to the hoop. Throws down the breakaway jam. Textbook example there of how to use defense to create offense. Yeah, beautiful transition play after the steal all the way to the basket. Wasted no time going from defense to offense. It feels like they're starting to pick up the intensity as the game itself starts to get a little more tight and close. And so here's Memphis. Here's the feed to Jeffers. Memphis moving that ball around. And that one's good. And it's a five-point Memphis lead. He had to wait for a while all the way until now. 
but he's finally got his first three-pointer of the game. Texas shooting 23% from the field. That's not going to get it done. Let's it go from deep. Shot is off. And it's Memphis the other way. Number two. Off target from three-point range. Well, I'm shocked he didn't make that one. He, he usually knocks that one down with ease. Number three. Misses off the right iron. Ouch. Another miss to add to what's been a miserable game for him from the field. Feeds to Jeffers. At the tip. It's good on the putback. And Memphis leads by seven. And he's starting to pick things up here after a tough first quarter. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Sure, they can't leave. Too many empty trips. They need some points. He's certainly not been at his best this quarter. Um, and that's an understatement. Thomas is free. Leaps for it. It's stolen by Jones. It's tipped. Number 13. And nothing is falling for him right now. Memphis leading by seven. Number 11. And then Thomas with the G. Excellent work on the offensive boards. Went after that rebound hard and quickly turned it into a putback jam. Beautiful work. And those are the types of plays that have put them in front in this game. And Texas calls time here. He needs to get them back into a flow offensively. You know, things have gotten stagnant for them, and they're starting to force some of these shots. And that can snowball on you. One guy takes a bad shot, then another guy does, and then you're missing back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back shots, and all of a sudden, you have no rhythm, and you're self-inflicting wounds. Texas trails by nine. Set up, set up. Outside, Jones. Oh, hit that. Looking to get it going. Bounce <laughs> touch on the back shot. Six points for him. And for Memphis, they're shooting only 32% from the field. Plenty of signs of struggle by this offense today. I'm open. Number 11. Oh, yeah. They grab their own miss. And plenty of contact on the shot, so two free throws coming up. For Memphis, they have hit six free throws in ten attempts. That one is off. You know, this is a common problem for them. Their inability to consistently knock down their free throws. And Memphis making a change here. Ellis is checked in. Second free throw, good. Texas trails by eight. Back to Jones. Third right side off the mark. And for Memphis, they're shooting 33% in the second quarter. The offense is left crossed up and confused at times. Really by shot selection right there, Clark. Really was a very low percentage shot here. Terrible transition defense there. I think it would have been pointless, Steve. There's no way anybody was beating him to the basket there. And so it's Memphis with it. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Passes it to Ellis. Fires the three. Texas grabs the miss. Jones has got rebound number five here tonight. Jones drives in. Number three. A three point off the mark. I tell you what, the way he's been going this quarter, guys, they're going to need somebody else to pick up the slack. Harris, right side. Puts up a three. And it's rebounded by Baker. Texas shooting 23% from the field. That's not going to get it done. Some solid defense from Harris. He hit a three in the first. 
but so far has been unable to capitalize here in this quarter. Ellis outside, tries it from the top of the key. Nice jump shot, good. And Memphis leads by eight. Now Texas with it. Number three. And by the miss by Texas. And here comes the break. And Jones over to help. Harris kicks to Ellis. Number 55. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. We've seen him miss a couple from the line so far, going two for four. Thomas checked in for Dandridge. One sixteen left in the first half of basketball. Guys are looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time getting the lid off the basket so far. It's a plus five advantage for them in the rebounding category after that board. Very steady work they've been doing on the interior, no question. And that's, uh, I think, the main reason they have this lead. And the basket by Harris. That shot becomes effortless for him when the D is so relaxed. They've got to get more intense. And out of bounds is Memphis game's possession. Boy, just a brain cramp, guys. I mean, that should have been the simplest of exchanges. And Memphis making a change here. Fifty-two seconds left here in the second. Ellis kicks to Jeffries. Back to Ellis. Lets it go with the three. They'll go get another chance. Multiple possessions have been the story of the game, and even with the big lead, this team continues to be quicker to the ball. And he gets it back. This is to Jeffries. Jacks up a three, and they call over the back here. Too much contact. Boy, that's his second foul, and he does not want to pick up number three here. That'll mess your game up for sure. Texas trails by 14. About three seconds between shot and game play. Back to Jones. And another miss by Texas. And for Memphis, they're shooting 31%, not looking sharp offensively to say the least. Shoots it. Can't nail the jump. That's one he knows he should have made. Number two. Drops one in from the wing. He's got seven. And so we conclude the first half. Memphis leads by 12. And we'll have the start of the second half when we come back after the break. But right now, let's go over to Damon Bruce with the Sprint Halftime Show. And now, brought to you by Sprint. Happy to have you with us for tonight's game. Let's start up the halftime report. A great team effort we've seen so far for Memphis. They've benefited from some excellent contribution from their bench, providing scoring in bunches when called upon. It's been a major advantage. And on the other hand, a major undertaking to stay alive for Texas. Their terrible field goal percentage dragging down their whole game. They got to find a way to take the lid off. And that's all we have for you here in the studio. Now let's send it on back to Kevin Harlan, Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke for the second half of play. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. Welcome back, everyone, to the start of the second half. Big margin on our hands, but we'll see if that gap narrows down in the third and fourth quarters. Really an incredible game so far from Jones. Boy, you wonder how long he can continue to shoot the three ball as well as he has to this point. He's been lights out. Steve, you know that as well as anyone being the shooter you were. Sometimes you have those nights where the bucket looks three feet wide. <laughs> and so here's Texas after Memphis gets the three. Three pointer. Again, the miss by Jones. You've got to give them a lot of credit for the job they've done on the backboard. Well, they've done a lot of things right. But I agree with you. The rebounding is right there at the top of the list. And so here's Texas. After the miss here from Thomas. And it's Memphis on the break. Now he's with the ball. And he draws body contact. Looked like a blocking foul. And he was uh, in the shooting motion. So he'll head to the free throw line. For Memphis, they have gone 8 of 13 from the free throw line. Oh, yeah. 
free throw good for Nellis. And Ellis drops them both. Texas trails by 17. Number three. Bangs home the trifecta. He's got nine. Here's Ellis. Help out! Help out! Goes up on the wing. They get the rebound. Number 55. Rejected by Jones. For Memphis, they have had 15 tries at the line. They've made 10. The first one falls. both free throws. And if you're just joining us, we played over a minute here in the third. On the wing, Jones. Here's Sims. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. And the defense fouling there to prevent that layup, forcing two free throws here. A nice job that time of attacking the paint and drawing the contact. They'll take that. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. First one falls for He hits one and misses one each at the line. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today. There's a glaring discrepancy between these teams in that area of the game. Yeah, and that's what's paved the way for them to build this big lead. No question. Launches it. And again, Memphis, no good. Tell you what, shooting 20% to start the second half doesn't bode well for how this will play out for this game. Another miss by Texas. And they've been off target now on three of the first four shots they've taken in this second half. Drop that one in as soft as a feather using the finger roll. Texas trails by 17. Texas moving it around. Jones, no luck. Been a real difficult game for him offensively, and it's cost him. Number 55. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Boy, there was no hand in his face right there. I thought for sure. He was going to knock that down. Now the pass to Sims. Takes a shot at the elbow. He hangs in there and crushes it on the second chance points. He's got a run. Hard work and soft hands, guys. That's what made that play possible. No simple offensive rebound there. Going for the tip in. Yeah, that's the way you've got to go. If you, you know, if you have good position, you've got to get after it and go for that second chance opportunity. Here's Sims. He passes to Jones. Number three. Brings it from downtown. You can really see that his confidence is at a high level here in this half. He didn't have a three in the first. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Watch out, Sam! The three. Oh, and Memphis leads by 15. For Texas, they've gone three of eight so far in the third quarter, looking to lock in that rhythm. And Texas calls time here. Well, he may just be trying to get a break in the action to clear their heads. You know, a lot of their shots are rimming out. You wonder if their confidence isn't suffering at this point. I think that's a good time to call a timeout. If a team has a few fall the wrong way for them, just burn a timeout and let them forget about it. Regroup, talk about it, and refocus. And Memphis making a change here. Rebounded by Memphis. Oh! Yep, yep. Go, 
Ellis kicks to Jeffries. A little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. The baseline J pops them up. He's trying to shoot his way out of it, guys, and as long as they're in the lead, he's going to continue to try to find his rhythm. Shoots the three. He's again. Foul call. Looked like the D didn't get there in time, and he'll shoot free throws. For Texas, they have made nine free throws in the game. 14 attempts. And the first one goes. There is a check in for Memphis. All three throws good from Baker. Here is Harris. The dish to Jeffers. Back to Harris. Number 10. Brian with his three. Texas trails by 13. Pass to Baker. From downtown. No luck. He's been the guy on the boards today, no question. Steve, you're all over it. I mean, his numbers back it up. He's been working extremely hard out there. Money in space. Number 10. Nice rebound. Nice hustle to get them the second look. No good off the back of the rim. Well, the shot was there for him, and he had to take it. I don't care if he didn't convert. He's got to take that every time. Cannot hit. Boy, look at the rebound totals. He is absolutely dominating out there. Well, that's been something to watch. My goodness. From past the arc. Rockets a rebound. Number 11. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch offensively. They desperately need a basket. Get it, get it. Memphis leading by 13. Number 55. <laughs> It's rebounded by Baker. And this has not been a quarter for him to remember. Yeah, it sure hasn't, Steve. I mean, he's been doing his invisible man impersonation here, hasn't he? And another miss by Texas. Memphis is going to less than productive two of six from three point line in the second half. Here's Harris. Rejected by James. He's played Texas. Get the hell out of here. And it's Memphis on the break. Shoots from 12. The shot no good. And Texas the other way. Goes up to the strike. It's rebounded by Jeffries. Jeffries got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Number 10. Off the mark and the drop continues. He's normally a really big threat from long range. Oh, oh, yeah. He might need to mix his game up a little bit. Terrible transition defense there. I think it would have been pointless, Steve. There was no way anybody was beating him to the basket there. Here's Harris. With a three. Oh, Jeffers can't get it to go. Texas trails by 11. Number two. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. And for Memphis, they're shooting about 26% out there. They need to get a better look. Harris misses. Harris has gotten just one of seven of his shots to go. With the shot, he gets it to fall. That makes it just a single-digit lead. 16 points for him. The points just keep coming for him this quarter. And just at the right time, too, as they try to narrow the deficit. This fire is on the corner three. He's frigid from three. I don't know what's worse, that he can't hit anything from out there or that he keeps on trying to. Jones, and a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Easy call there. No question about that one. You could hear the impact from where I am. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Memphis. And they keep piling up the assists, guys. Great ball movement. They've really hey, been on hey, fire from worry. beyond the arc tonight, too. I mean, a lot of their points have come from out there. And Memphis making a change here. Good on the second free throw. 
Memphis leading by eight. Ellis kicks to Harris. Harris missing again. Now touches with it. They're on a 16 to 7 run. Deflected. It's stolen by Harris. Outside Thomas. Ellis takes a three. And Jones pulls it down. Jones has got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. 14 feet away. Second shot opportunity. It's rebounded by Memphis. Jeffrey's got double digit rebounds now in the game. Number 55. Oh, on the triple. Texas trails by eight. For three. And the basket by Jones. Jones has got 19 points. You know, defensively, you cannot forget about him. He gave him a wide open look there. Harris passes to Jeffers. Ellis will not go. This is off the front eye. Obviously, they're evenly matched teams on the inside. The rebound numbers are very even. Yeah, I've been impressed with just both teams' energy. Just really working hard on the board. And then Thomas with the dunk. That's how to make your mark on the board with an emphatic finish. Oh, Clark, he was savage on that second <laughs> opportunity. Yeah, those are the types of possessions that are really demoralizing for a defense, guys. It's a good end. Memphis leading by seven. Harris kicks to Jeffries. Back to Harris. Memphis moving that ball around. Here's Thomas. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Texas shooting 23% from the field. That's not going to get it done. He feeds it to win. 102 left to play in the third. And out of bounds as Memphis gains possession. That's a poor possession. You just give away the ball with a sloppy pass. And Memphis making a change here. And for Memphis, they're shooting around 24%. Not a good showing here. To the paint. Out of bounds, Texas takes possession. Boy, did they ever make a mess out of that one. Terrible turnover. Here's Jones. 19 points in the game. Pass to Williams. This one for three. Down it goes. Jamming that one home. You know, we didn't see too many plays like that when they were digging this hole for themselves. No, maybe they'll start Clark making up for it now. Uh, it's all about effort and energy and anticipation, and they, they're finally getting some of that. Oh, there's, no rebound. there's another opportunity. Everything's going right for these guys. Who picks it to Jones and taken away by Ellis. Oh, uh, here we go. Ellis has got the fast break chance. And so he ends a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. No good on the free throw. The second from the line. Kevin, right now, they're doing a good job at the line. They're, they're hovering around 83, 84, 85 percent from the strike. That's good stuff. I mean, that's uh, that's well done. Kicks it to Williams. It's Jones on the run. Off target from outside. Number 14. Misses the shot. The third quarter comes to a close. Memphis out in front, leading by six. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter underway. All right, the fourth quarter of action getting underway. We've had a great one so far with both sides coming to play. Texas trails by six. Outside Williams, fires for three, it's held in by Thomas. 
Thomas got 11 rebounds in the game. Another strong rebound, just like we've gotten used to seeing from them today. Yeah, one or two more of those, and this one will be double digits. Can't get it to go. Texas shooting 23% from the field. That's not going to get it done. Here's Jones. Here's a and finishes it off with a one-handed join. Well, I tell you, that's outstanding determination to track that rebound down and fight his way to the bucket for the throwdown. Clark, that is the effort they're going to need for the rest of this game. And not just on the offensive glass, Kevin, but all over the floor. And so it's Memphis with it. Following the bucket by Texas. Here's Thomas. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. What a performance. Just look at the game for Thomas. He's got 12 rebounds and a couple of nice steals, too. Excellent defensive presence on the glass and delivering some of that shot blocking skill, too. Yeah, a dominant performance in the paint. He's off on the foot. Hey, and Memphis making a change here. the second. He did the important part at the line there. The heavy lifting, if you will. Made this a two-possession game. Fires the three. It's rebounded by Memphis. 17 points was their biggest margin. Upside Thomas. Number two. Misses the three. A clear look at the hoop. He doesn't miss many of those. Number 33. The putback is no good. He's really lacking in confidence out there. Zero field goals made so far in this game. And they're going to count the bucket and send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. How about that play? Great body control. Still manages to finish the play despite the contact. You know, when that whistle blows, you're not done. Get greedy and find a way to knock it down. And Memphis making a change here. Texas trails by eight. I see you. Park some tough offensive sets. They want to turn you out. Yeah, they need a basket just to regain some momentum. Crashes the offensive glass and gets a slam dunk for his effort. I like the work. You know, Clark, pretty easy for him once he got a handle on the ball. Yes, uh, sir. You know, you're never going to get a more quality chance than off an offensive rebound. Now, here's us. He makes no mistake on the slam dunk. A high-quality shot is almost always going to come off a rebound like that. And Clark, he is so good at working his way inside, holding off the defenders under the glass, and being in the right position. Knows how to use his body. Yeah, and I just like the way he consistently pursues the poker. <laughs> No good. Well, that's another good rebound, Brad. It hasn't mattered at all that he's given up some inches to a few of the other guys on the floor. Number 33. Number three. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. He misses the free throw, and Memphis making a change here. Jeffries has checked in. He can't make the second free throw either. Missing both. From the wing, shot is no good. And Texas the other way now. Number three. He's guarded by Ellis. Number three. Ah! And he's caught the with two hands. You see the defense get caught standing around that time, giving up an easy second chance bucket. Simply need more of an effort on the boards there, Steve. Out of bounds, Texas takes possession. Such a careless pass. You've got to keep your head in the game here. And Texas making a change here.
Texas trails by four. Texas moving the line. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. And it's good. That's more like it. It's nine points for him coming off three pointers in this half. Memphis is. The trade. Another shot. Texas grabs the miss. The defense was ready for him that time, and they had to be. He is so powerful in the lane. To take the lead. Offensive rebound. No good from Sims. And for Memphis, they're shooting around 24%. Not a good showing here. Number 11. And again, Memphis, no good. Not sure if he just ran out of gas or what, Kevin, but... He's been awful ever since the second half started. He's not even been a factor. And so here's Memphis. 17 points was their biggest margin. From deep. The shot no good. And Texas the other way now. Number two. The second chance effort. And James is it in. Back up now, Kevin. After trailing for so long. They finally pulled ahead. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stats for Texas? You know, block shots, guys, a clear indicator on the stat sheet of their excellent defense. I mean, leaving them no room to get off any shots. And I love their hustle because they're getting a lot of second chance opportunities just as a result of playing hard. Memphis trailing here. Now a timeout called by Memphis. And with a fourth quarter push coming up here, the coach going over the game plan and these players rehydrating themselves with Gatorade, recharging their bodies, refocusing their minds, and getting that strategy down to close out the game. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Hi, Kevin. The head coach for the visiting team had some instruction for his guys during that last break. They've been getting torched with all these shots from long range, and he simply said, we can't lose track of their shooters, guys. We're over-helping inside, and it's leaving them wide open. Can they make the adjustment, guys? To end the run. The shot misses. And Texas the other way now. Number 13. He's guarded by Ellis. It's Jones on the wing. Come get it! There's the triple. It's rebounded by Jeffrey. He's still looking for his first three-pointer of the second half after making just one in the first. Sims with the rebound. Oh, he's just launching from the three-point line right now because I, I don't like his shot selection at all. Number 13. Ball's not loose. Stolen by Ellis. It's three on three on the fast break. Looking to get back on track here. And he drops that one in. And so here's Texas. They've given up just eight points in the fourth quarter. He dishes it to Jones. It's three on three on the fast break. Tires from deep. With the number 55. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. the first. Thomas checked in for Memphis. That one falls, so he hits both of them. This is a positive trend for him, especially here in the second half. Shooting just above 80% right now. That's more than respectable. That's good free throw shooting. And so here's Texas. A two-point game. And that's a tough one there because he's wide open. That's a shot he expects to make. Misses from short range. To the inside. Stolen by Ellis. Number 11. Offensive rebound. The feed to Ellis. It's stolen. Number 
two. And it's all in by Thomas. Major defensive lapse right there. I mean, he's not a player you can leave open for a jump shot. You've got to stay attached to him. They're lucky he couldn't punish them for it. And so here's Memphis. Five on the clock. And Texas making a change here. Jones has checked in. Texas moving it around. From outside the arc. Second change shot. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Number 55. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. And Memphis making a change here. And the first one at the line is good. Good on board. And for Memphis, they're shooting at rough 22% so far in this one. Number 11. Good, and the assist goes to Ellis. Ellis has got five assists tonight. Getting the feel out there from long range, guys. That's his second three of the half. On the arc. Here's Sims. It's rebounded by Memphis. Thomas got his 16th rebound on the night. Here's Ellis. That is good. And now a five-point Memphis lead. There's been a change in his game compared to what we saw in the first half. I mean, he's scoring with a lot of confidence now. Number two. And he's good on the three ball. This guy will really make you pay if you leave him enough room outside. I was with it. Back to Thomas. The ones are back, but that three is off the mark. Texas shooting around 24%. Not a good showing here. Outside, Jones to take the lead. I got it, I got it. Here's a Sims. It's rebounded by Memphis. There's 154 and left to play here in the fourth. Number 11. A very good two. How happens? Wide open, but just couldn't get it to go. Number two. Had to get it back. Nice job on the offensive line. And the shot is good. Jones has got five points now this quarter. And we should thank the defense for those two points. Really, nobody paid him any mind there. Now a timeout called by Memphis. And they need a timeout, Kevin. They haven't been boxing out like they need to. And they're giving up a ton of second-chance points. Thirty-six left to play in the final quarter. Number fourteen, defended by Jones. Excellent three that time from Jones. Outside Jones and out of bounds is Memphis gains possession. Oh, that certainly could be costly. In a close one, those kinds of mistakes can really give the other team momentum. And Memphis making a change here. Dander just checked in. Now Ellis. Number 11. And another miss by Memphis. Kevin, he's missing shot after shot after shot from the other end. The time running low, he'd be better off trying something else. And it's blocked. Ellis outside. Out of bounds, Texas takes possession. Well, that's inexcusable to throw a pass that far off the mark. And Texas balls time here.
52 seconds left in the fourth. Get there, get there. To take the lead. Here's Jones. And they're able there to get the go-ahead bucket. That's an easy shot there. That's a shot that he should make more often than not. Sends the goal down. That's a very low percentage shot. Not good basketball at all. One who probably should have passed him. Huge points. That's beyond huge, Steve. I mean, they needed that bucket. Desperate. Now a timeout called by Memphis. They're trailing by two. 29 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Five seconds separating the shot and game blocks. Number 11. No good again that time. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now. Again and again, they're not in the penalty yet. Yeah, you got to freeze the clock. I mean, that's the enemy in this situation. A few misses at the line, and they're in good shape. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And they go to the intentional foul. Attempted the line, no good. A chance to tie it up, Clark. The three would make it happen. It's in! A tremendous three to tie it up. And Texas calls time here. heading to overtime and don't go away we'll be back momentarily well if you're just joining us the intensity has really heated up in this one as we watch this one go now to overtime and so here's texas Texas moving it around. Jones for three. And Jones sends it in. That gives him the double double. Ten points and 18 rebounds. And that just shows you why it's so important to win the second shot game. Yeah, you know, those second shots are usually the easy ones, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, because the defense is out of position on, on the shot attempt and in terms of rebounding lanes. Outside, Jones. Pass to Sims. Ellis outside. There's the pass to Andrew. Working on Jones. Let's it go from 14. Dandridge can't make it work. Well, if this game comes down to the rebounding battle, They'll be the ones coming out on top. Yeah, they've been really strong in the paint, battling the glass. Offensive rebound. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. The first free throw is good.
and so he makes both from the line. It's extra time here, just over a minute into overtime. Number 11. Can't hit. And Jets is the other one. You know, when the shot's not there for you, you've just got to recognize it, move the ball on. Yeah, I think he had tunnel vision right there. His only thought was to shoot it, no matter what else was going on. Inside. It's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. First one. And he's good on the second. But 90 seconds off the clock here in the extra period. Pass to Sims. The nine-foot shot. And that one goes in as he is fouled. It'll be three points if he converts to the line. The exceptional play to take the bump and still get it up and down. Yeah, way to stay with it. And look to finish the play right there. That's good from Sims. Memphis trails by six. Number 11. Oh, good with the triple. They definitely had the advantage inside. Another big grab a moment ago. Back to Jones. He passes it to Sims. From 16 feet away, he cans it. And touches leads by eight. Here's Ellis. 158 left in overtime. Fires the three. And Jones pulls it down. Jones has got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. Feeds it to Jones. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Number 10. Goes back up. Time is trying to break loose. No good at the rim. Pretty good defense there. I mean, that's a shot that he can make, but they really challenged him. Jones drives in. Pass to Sims. And uh, what an exciting game here with three minutes played so far in overtime. Out of bounds, Texas takes possession. I'll tell you what, that's just a major unforced error right there, guy. My goodness. Texas leading by eight. Outside, Jones. Number two. Drains it from beyond the arc. Just a little bit more for these fans to cheer about as they get ready to celebrate the win. Well, they can already start to celebrate, Steve, and they should let their team hear it. They were good. We're having trouble stopping this run. Well, the more trips they continue to come up empty, the more the pressure builds on them. Pass break. Texas has it to Sims. This is to Jones. Puts up a three. Take out that. Second chance shot. Some solid defense there from Dandridge. So Memphis going with almost an entire new group here. We're now over three and a half minutes through this overtime period. Jeffrey. Nice again. Can't hit. It's going to be a tough loss to swap. They just didn't have much gas left in the tank once we got to overtime. Outside, Jones. And so it's Texas taking care of business in this one. An impressive victory in overtime after an exciting end in regulation. You know what? In a long game, fatigue can sometimes affect every aspect of play. Um, they didn't look tired at all to me.
That about does it for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, and the rest of our great crew. This is Kevin Harlan saying so long, and thanks for watching. Now, here is our Jordan player of the game. This is the NBA on 2K Sports. Welcome, fans. Monday hoops coming up. It's the away team going up against. Welcome, folks. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for the latest presentation of our NBA basketball. Along with Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and our sideline reporter, Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. Our starting lineups will look at the matchups here and who we'll see for our starting five for both teams. And for the home team. Nixon, the pass to Young. I see him. From the arc. Yeah. No way from Bolton. There's Tony. Offensive rebound. Johnson. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. First free throw is good. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. The visitors with the ball. Number two. Three-point range. Three on three. Hope loose. Now the pass to Johnson. Knocks down the three ball. 
Johnson's got five now. How about this performance in the face of the injury? Playing through a lot of pain out there. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Hey, Kevin. I had a chance to catch up with the visiting team's head coach. He'd like them to concentrate defensively on slowing the game down. There's simply too much speed in their opponent, and to get into a run and gun type of game is not to their advantage, guys. And thank you, Doris. Well, that's how you pick up second chance points. Stay active, be energetic, and react as soon as the shot goes up. Johnson wraps up. And there is a slam dunk to finish it off. No sign for determination that time. Now Clark to get to the rim. We know he can bounce from right there. An example of how dangerous he is when he's got a path to the hoop. And, and you love the versatility, guys. Being a point guard, and in this situation, they tack on two more points, expanding the lead, and really deflating away from the defense. And that basket was going to count. Goaltending the official call. He almost got to that shot in time, but not quite. You can't touch the ball once it's on the way down. The fans don't like that call one bit. Well, the officials got an earful as a result. Hey, hey, balance it out! Hey, 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 hey. No one knew it. Good dish to Hamilton. Good defensive work there by Young. All the defender had to do there was just stay close to him, and he did. No good from Bolton. Down 4 or 7 from the field since we've gotten underway. On deep. Well, he won that battle, and in general, we're winning most of the battles tonight. Well, those are some very easy points if you can get them. Well, and like Clark said, they have been getting them, not necessarily all on put-back dunks, but a lot of second-chance opportunities. Come on, Passes it to Nixon. Man. Offline with his three. Drawing one or two from the long range in the first quarter. Tony, no luck. Boy, I tell you what, guys, he's an extremely strong finisher. I'm surprised he wasn't able to power that through the defense. Number 12, the follow-up flush. That is a booming putback. Step aside, fellas. They wanted <laughs> nothing to do with him there. At least not with the ball in his hands and the rim in sight. Now here's Johnson. Nine points in the game so far. Corner shot. No luck. When he's wide open like that, he'll rarely miss those. Here's Bolton, and two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. And he's got his first free throw of the game. in the game. That was simply a defensive breakdown there, Kevin. He was all alone for that shot. It was a warm-up jump. That's the Nixon. Shot, from deep. The shot is off. I'll tell you what, if there's success on the boards in this first quarter is any indication, it's going to be a good day. And rebounds usually are a good indicator. Number two. Hands it from downtown. You know, even though he doesn't really have the long-range ability... Uh, on a consistent level, he can knock down some open ones. Number 11. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. And the basketball. Kicks it to Young. Covered by Hamilton. Number two. Can't tie it up as that one misses. This touch has disappeared on him this court. He just hasn't been able to get it going. And the first one at the line is good. Both 
free throws good from Tony. 33% here in the first quarter. This is it to Nixon. Number two. On, on, on. From outside. Yeah, it seems like nothing is falling for him this quarter. He's really out of his rhythm. But three. The shot is off. And that's a shot you can't pass up. He, he should knock that down. Pass to Bolton. Lots of room. Tony with the rebound. This is really ugly, guys. I mean, he can't get anything to go. Number 11. Here's Hamilton. Nice shot. No good. Hamilton's gone. One of three shooting so far. Number two. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. This is his first free throw of the game. Two of six to fall from three-point range so far in the first. Hey, 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 hey. Tony picks the bucket. Tony's got five. He has to be concerned with all the missed shots. I mean, it happens to every team, but you have to find a way to keep being productive even when you go through a shooting drop. He might be trying to tell them to get to the free throw line. You know, all teams go cold at points during the game, but the good team still find ways to score. to Nixon. Come get it. There's the triple. That is good. He's got eight. I like the way he's not forcing anything, taking advantage of what the defense is given. He's been a key contributor for them in this sport. And here's Johnson. He's got 12. Shoots from 12. And a big bounce off the rim, but it sinks right in. You know, he seemed a bit cold. The shots haven't been falling for him early on. Basketball. Here's the three. It's held in by Brock. I tell you what, the way he's been going this quarter, guys, they're going to need somebody else to pick up the slot. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Well, at least the defender got his money's worth on that one. Yep, that was an easy whistle for the official. He misses the free throw. And he's good on the second. 31% here early on. Not getting the shots they'd like. Jackson dishes to Lewis. Griffin back to Lewis. Jackson kicks to Lewis. Oh, with his three. You know, a team's rebounding is one of the great measures of its energy, and theirs has been terrific in the first quarter. Yep, they were ready to go right from the opening tip. Jackson with it. Lewis kicks to Jackson. From outside the arc. No luck. On three of seven from three point range in the first quarter. Back door, back door. Number four. Oh, and he gets it to fall. Boy, what a fantastic opening quarter for them. Yeah, it sure has been. Look at the lead they've jumped out to already. Impressive. Here's Griffin. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Gone four of eight on their three point attempts, doing a lot of work from way outside here in the first quarter.
Now Jackson. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Lewis kicks to Jackson. High post try. Number 12. Can't get it to go. Some solid defense from Brown. Number four. And it's Griffin with the rebound. That was not pretty there. You got to make that one, but maybe that's not his range. Here's Lewis. No good. And they can't put him into this drought. Fast break. Here we go. Lewis grabs the ball. It's held in by Brown. Brown's got his fourth rebound in this one. Outside Griffin. The shot will not go. And here's Griffin. Outside Jackson. Lewis on the way. The tray. The shot is off. Excellent D for Murphy. Been going around 32% so far in this one. The offense looking a bit off kilter. Number four. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. This is his first chance at the line tonight. And that one was right. You got it. And he sinks the second. You see their only fouls here? They're having an impact so far. No arming, 21% to get things going here. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch offensively. They desperately need a basket. And Clark, you're right. The early fouls contributing to the deficit here in the first. Yeah, I don't think they're moving their feet well enough, Kevin. I mean, when you foul, you're typically out of position and you're late. So they've got to anticipate better. And then play defense without fouling. Stop using your hand. I've seen that, too. As far as the defense goes, Clark, that is not what's going to keep them in this lead. Yeah, but from the other perspective, you can see just how much that dunk pumped those players up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I agree, guys. I sense a, a little bit of a momentum shift here. Pass to Murphy. Fires for three. And that one's good. Mm, they are making some noise from downtown, guys. And they've got themselves a very nice lead to show for it. Here's Jackson. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Shoots the three. It's held in by Brown. Guys, they have a really solid lead at this point. You know, definitely that's the case. I mean, there hasn't been much resistance at all. Here's Murphy. And another shot. Three on three. The open shot from Jackson. The put down. This is the follow-up. 24 seconds left to play here in the first. Second chance effort. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Come on, you can get this. That free throw missing. second free throw. They're showing that they're the aggressors. I mean, doing a good job of drawing fouls and getting to the foul line, attacking the paint area. He feeds it to Lewis. He dishes it to Griffin. Lewis. Oh, good on the three. And a double-digit lead on the scoreboard as we end the first quarter of play. The home team Leading by 14.
And we'll be back in just a moment with the start of the second quarter. And welcome back. It's been all one-sided so far through the first quarter as our second quarter gets underway. How about the three-point shooting? The scoring has really come in bunches from long range. Yeah, it seems like every time down the floor, they're knocking down the triple. only 21% from the field so far. And so he owns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. Nice work to get inside and draw the foul. Yeah, it's obvious. The defense not going to allow many easy layups. They're going to make you earn it from the line. First free throw is good. strike gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight five of 12 now the feed to Murphy can't cash in from close range well the effort was there but he just couldn't quite find his way through traffic pass to ball three pointer and just 28 percent they are offensively out of whack and out of step with each other at this point Murphy can't hit. Murphy's gone just one of five from the field. Outside, Lewis cut the bucket. Lewis has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Gone 0 or 2 from deep here in the second. Hamilton's checked in for Brown. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. And the ball goes out of bounds. Turned over. Oh, they couldn't look up there on what's really a pretty basic pass. Gone one or two on three pointers here in the second quarter. So far. feeds to Griffin. Gets the three pointer to fall. Griffin's got five points now this quarter. Gone 0 3 and are still looking for that first bucket here in the second quarter. He kicks it to Murphy. Here's Hamilton. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Easy call there. No question about that one. You could hear the impact from where I am. It's his first trip to the line. And he can't get the first one. Well, it seems like they're having a lot of trouble at the line today, and it's just been that kind of a day. That one misses. Gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. The pass to Bolton. Let's it go from deep. And the rebound goes to Murphy. Murphy's got his third rebound tonight. Early here in the game, you can look at his performance as a direct indicator of why they're losing. An indication there of why the scoreboard looks like it does. Very passive defense. But the finish was anything but passive. No, he, he hammered that down, Clark. Superb above the rim action. On the free throw, no good. 
even though he isn't having the best of game from the floor, it hasn't seemed to hurt him. A look from Griffin. Defensive oh. rebound. Oh. Number four. Goes up again. And Griffin with the layup. Griffin's got seven points here in this quarter. Starting to get a little momentum here after that scoreless first quarter. Dishes it to Murphy. Back to Johnson. Down low. Murphy goes back up. And the rejection by Bolton. Griffin against Johnson. Passes to Bolton. There's the dish to Lewis. For three. Hamilton pulls it in. Hamilton's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Here's Murphy. Blocks, tries to keep it alive. And he's able to get it back. Good. About three minutes played so far in the second quarter. Kicks to Young. And he was fouled on the way out. Two free throws now for him. This is his first free throw of the game. Odd free throw, no good. the second from the line. Here's Johnson. He's got 12. They set the pick. Releases. I'm sure he's good that time. Looks like he was trying to go for a degree of difficulty points on that shot. Gone three of eight from the field since the beginning of the second quarter. A look from Griffin. And they push in right away with the quick shot. Griffin's got nine points in the quarter. It took him a little while to get into the flow of this game, but now he's definitely found his stride and rhythm. Number two. Number 12. One time he gets the jump of the fall. And they put their lead here by doing all the little things well. And one of those things has been rebounding for because they have really come out and taken control of the boards. After having none in the first, he gets two three-point shots to go here. Got nothing but zeros from long range in the second quarter. All of four. Number two. A picture-perfect screen play, and the jumper's good. Very effective screen to set up the jumper, and that was the key to that play. Lewis on top. Pass to Nixon. Front pass the arc. Hamilton pulls it in. Here's Johnson. Pass to Tony. Pulls up from the corner. That's good. And it's Johnson with the assist. Tony's got eight points. Gone for the three-pointer seven times here in the second. And been successful three times. There's the pass to Bolton. Oh, 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 good from outside. Even with every shot clanging off the rim, he seems determined to keep hoisting up these three. It might be time to get inside of that arc. Yeah, he's trying to take the wind out of their sails here. I mean, they're on the wrong end of a bad run. they got to sort things out. I think things were very close to spiraling out of control if he didn't burn one there. Gone 5 of 12 in the field here in the second. He feeds it to Lewis. They need this. Slams it home for the putback. Gab, yeah, he came out of nowhere to slam that one back in. Well, that's making him pay for letting him get his hands on that rebound. Yeah, is it ever, Kevin? Gets it to go. Tony's got 11 points. That's pretty much been the norm for them. Getting their points off assists and great ball movement. Nice rhythm and flow for this team. Tremendous communication and alertness. Passes it to Nixon. Launches it. 
Hamilton pulls it in. Hamilton's got his eighth rebound here tonight. He dishes it to Tony. A baseline J. And the officials call over the back. A little too aggressive there. Boy, with two fouls now, he really has to be disciplined and under control for the rest of this half. Griffin's check in for Lewis. only 27 percent from the field looking pretty ugly out there there's the feed to griffin he passes to nixon gets it to go from beyond the arc 11 points in the game maybe that'll get him going here in the second quarter and already knocked down two in the first now johnson 12 points for him number two and he can't answer back the three-pointer offline Kick it out! Kick it out! Ball stolen. He takes that one and powers it through. Textbook example there of how to use defense to create offense. Yes, beautiful transition play after the steal all the way to the basket. Wasted no time going from defense to offense. Yeah, it feels like they're starting to pick up the intensity as the game itself starts to get a little more tight and close. Looking to get back on track here, and that one hits back iron. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today. There's a glaring discrepancy between these teams in that area of the game. Yeah, and that's what's paved the way for them to build this big lead, no question. Major defensive laps right there. I mean, he's not a player you can leave open for a jump shot. You've got to stay attached to him. They're lucky he couldn't punish them for it. And the ball at a 43% rate here in the second. Tony for three. And you know, these calls can be some of the toughest in the game for the officials. It all happened so fast, but I really think that was the right call. The defender was not really set in that situation. Here's Tony. 11 points in the game. Feeds it to Brown. Shot is off. Well, he didn't quit on the play. He defended the shot, contested it, and then got back straight to the glass. Shoots it. Back down a little long. And 34% from the field. That's not going to get it done. He kicks to Tony. For the three. And it's Griffin with the rebound. Griffin's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Oh, please, 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 please. Number two. Brings it from beyond the arc. He has six. And here's Murphy. He's got five. With the shot. Off the left rim and up. Ill advised shot selection right there, Clark. It really was. I mean, very low percentage shot there. Griffin passes to Nixon. Shot, shot, shot. with the three-point shot. More often than not today, those shots have not dropped for him. It was Tony. No good and tight defense there. Bothered that shot. Being a terrible 27% from the floor. Boy, an off night for them to say the least. Talk about a terrific game for Griffin. 12 points, and he's picked up six points from behind the arc. Now, his outside stroke has looked really good today. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. He's off on the, the next one. Good on the second free throw. And 35% so far in the second. They need to move the ball around more. And Let's find go, the go. Go. Tony, no luck. We've got 118 left to play in the first half. And that one's good. 109 left in the first half of basketball. Number 11. Sinks the triple. He's got five. 
shooting just 39% in the second quarter. Number two. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. He's certainly starting to heat up from outside. That's his third for the game. His second in this quarter. Yo, set it up! Dishes it to Tony. Griffin trying to get open. But Tony, no luck. You know, with the time left, they can trade two for one here. If they hurt. Yardin's shot is off. And the defense did a pretty good job of closing off the middle once he got inside the lane. It's rebounded by Nixon. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Number two. The offensive rebound. Griffin. Can't get it to fall. Now here's Brown. Here's the dish to Murphy. Jacks up a three. No good. Here's Nixon. No good. And so that brings the first half to a close. The home team up by seven. And coming up after the break, it'll be Damon Bruce breaking down all the highlights from the first half of play. Now, presented by Sprint. Welcome, everyone, to the Halftime Report. Let's get going. At the midway point, the home team is playing very well. They're really going hard at it on the boards, offensively chasing down every miss they can. And the visitors still keeping at it. They've benefited from some excellent contribution from their bench, providing scoring in bunches when called upon. It's been a major advantage. And that's all we have for you here in the studio. Now let's send it on back to Kevin Harlan, Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke for the second half of play. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. And now the third quarter, about to get going. Really an incredible game from Griffin. Boy, his rebounding was superb in that first half, particularly at the offensive end where he's really battling. And that continually allowed them to get two quality shots on the same possession, Steve. That's invaluable. Number two. <laughs> Number 11. Here's Hamilton. And they had their chances. Two offensive rebounds. But they still come up empty. That's not how you want to kick off the second round for three straight minutes. Well, he's building a house with those bricks. I mean, one reason is he keeps trying to force it up when he's defended well. Move the ball. Share the sugar. And they will call over the back on the play. Well, he gave the officials no choice there. Easy call. Went right over the top. Yeah, he's got to go straight up when he's under the boards in that kind of traffic. Can't chest first into the man in front of you. That's a foul. Pass to Nixon. Fires the three. The shot misses. Gone. 0 of 4 from the field in the second half. Yet to find the mark. Number 11. That's all misses right. the three. Ice cold here to start the third quarter. 0 for 5 now, guys. Here's Nixon. Takes it out with both hands and rips it down. You know, we didn't see too many plays like that when they were digging this hole for themselves. No, maybe they'll start Clark making up for it now. Uh, it's all about effort and energy and anticipation, and it, they're finally getting some of that. Back now go, here's back Johnson. Go. He's got 12. Oh, hit that. Number 11. Oh, and the three off target. Gotten just one of their first four shots to fall since coming on the locker with the break. Here's the two drop. The shot's good from Bolton. Just over a minute and a half played here in the third. Kicks to Tony. Kick it out, kick it out. Pulls up. Shot up, shot up. Can't get it to go. Gone 0 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. That's the young. Here's Nixon. It's good. This game is all even. 14 points for him. He had a whole lot of space to get that shot off. Yeah, I don't think the defender did a good job there of getting over the top of the screen. To the inside. Young with the steal. And they're moving it up. For the lead. No good for Nixon. In 28%, a rocky, rocky performance for them offensively. Get it, get it. Tony, no luck. Gone three and seven on field goal attempts here in the second half. The basketball. 
Launches a three. No good. Johnson outside. Johnson double teamed. Looks picked off. Wide open. That's good. He's got 11. You have to like what you're seeing so far from Nixon. He's dialed in from long range. They got to stay in his hip pocket and deny him the catch. Hamilton outside, back to Brown. Well, that's inexcusable to throw a pass that far off the mark. Gone one of four and three-point shots here in the third. Pass to Bolton. Number four, covered by Hamilton. The seven footer falls. They've now scored six unanswered. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Johnson outside. Murphy defended by Bolton. Murphy dishes to Hamilton. He feeds it to Tony. And just miss after miss right now. Boy, I tell you what, the complexion of this game would be completely different if he'd shot the ball anything like he's capable of. Pass to Nixon. Pulls it up. No good from Bolton. Well, I tell you what, that's too good a look to pass up there. Even though it didn't go, that's one you got to take. Got that one up quick. Murphy's got eight points. Gone just a bit under 50% from the field since halftime. Five out of 11. Here's Bolton. Able to come right back with the three of his own. But it's no good. Nothing seems to be going down for him today. Johnson gets the bucket. Here's Lewis. And there's the pass to Bolton. Fires the three. Hamilton pulls it in. Hamilton's got 11 rebounds in the game. Or if he can't hit. Well, that's another good rebound for him. Hasn't mattered at all that he's given up some inches to a few of the other guys on the floor. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. And no question, he got bumped on that shot. Definitely no room for discussion on that one. And the first one drops. One of two. He should be in front right now, but he'll be relieved not to have come up totally empty there. Number two. He drops in the tray. 12 points for him. This seems like they've given up far too many points from the three-point shot today. A lot of open looks out there. I agree, Steve. The defensive rotations have been abysmal. Cut the line. Here's Young. Boy, have they been hitting the glass hard or what? surprising in such a tight game. Yeah, you're right. Very rarely will you out-rebound an opponent like that and not have it pay off. And they call over the back here. Too much content. Well, you like it when a guy goes hard to the boards, but you have to be smart. He went right over his back on that one. Not, not a good play. I think he was just over-anxious that time. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that's right. They, Kevin, the offense has basically been running in place. They got to get going. Here's Bolton. Bolton from three-point range. He slipped into quite a funk here, Clark. I think that's a good word to describe it. I mean, the basket is looking awfully small to him at the moment. Number two. Come on, come on, rebound by Young. Yeah, that's a low percentage shot right there. Yeah, it sure is. I mean, he's got to be thinking out there a little bit. 
make the pass in that situation. Don't force a bad shot. Number four. Some solid defense from Brown. Gone a less than productive two of six from three-point land in the second half. Number two. And it's Griffin with the rebound. Griffin's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. There's the three. They get it done. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Well, at least the defender got his money's worth on that one. Yep, that was an easy whistle for the official. And that one falls for Young. Opportunity for a three point play. And that one misses. And terrible so far in the second half. Down around 26%. Lewis misses. That's a shot he's got to hit. I mean, you don't get too many better looks from that one. <laughs> Griffin with the rebound. And I'll tell you what, this has been one ugly quarter for him. And it keeps getting ugly. I mean, his touch is basically going able. Young's shot is off. Now, here's Brown. Number 11. And the wing jumper offline. Well, that's a very low percentage shot. Not good basketball. So one he probably should have passed on. Griffin can't get it to go in. Griffin's gone 4 of 11 tonight. Number two. And it's blocked. Outside Griffin. Has it to Nixon. That three off the mark. Gone a less than productive 2 of 6 from 3 point land in the second half. Number 11. Second shot opportunity. And he drops that one in. Murphy's got 5 points now in the quarter. Well, where was the box out? Too easy on that second chance opportunity. Yeah, no box out is what happened there. Those kind of mistakes on the glass would kill the team. But they were perfect. Young's shot is off. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Yeah, he got whacked. Shouldn't be much debate on that one. Yeah, that was as straightforward as it gets, guys. Strike. In just 29% of this game, they are not a pretty set out there offensively. On the wing, Johnson. Johnson, double team. Takes a three. Shot is off. In a pretty pitiful 25% in this game. Offensively, they can't get anything going. Three pointer. Tony with the rebound. Tony's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Takes the three. They get it in. A shot by Hamilton. Hamilton's got his second basket. The defense has not been able to keep the ball out of the paint at that end of the floor. Well, I'd like to know how many of their attempts have come from inside five feet. It seems like everything is right at the rim. I think he's got to regroup and get himself together here. I mean, something's going wrong with him this quarter. He's really falling off. Yeah, the defender draped all over him. Pretty plain and simple. Got him good there. That free throw, no good. Four, 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 four. 
And he sinks the second. We've got 108 left in the third quarter. Clark, they've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a little bit of cotton mouth here. Dry spell for sure. Pass to Bolton. He dishes it to Lewis. Here's Nixon. And a miss there on the triple. He's frigid from three. I don't know what's worse, but that he can't hit anything from out there, but that he keeps on trying to. A shot by Johnson, no good. A three ball. A rebound by Johnson. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. The shot no good. Nice D from Nixon. It's an eight point differential. Lewis on the win. Tony with the rebound. Tony's got ten rebounds here tonight. So active. I can't figure out guys what's going on with him this quarter. I mean, he hasn't gotten one shot to drop. Number 12. Oh, three pointers off the mark. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. The home team up by eight. And after a quick break, we're going to come right back with the start of the fourth quarter. Hello and thanks for joining us, folks. The fourth quarter of play should begin momentarily. Nixon, the pass to Young. Who is outside? Watch outside! A three. My, my, my. He's again. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. Hamilton. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. Brown is checked in for Hamilton. The first one falls. They are offensively out of whack and out of step with each other at this point. Now here's Johnson. Can't get it to go. Good defensive work there by Young. The pass to Bolton. It's stolen by Tony. Comes up. And the post break ends at the rim of the jam. Boy, I love it. Active hand on the steal. Your feet on the fast break. And Clark Power on the dunk. And guys, this is just too close of a game to be giving the ball up like that and then failing to get back in transition. No good for Nixon. Well, ever since the second half started, he's been ice cold. Very little going his way right now. Johnson. Get it, get it. Shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Hi, Kevin. The head coach for the visiting team had some instruction for his guys during that last break. He hasn't been happy with their shot selection. He told them, we're forcing things out there, guys. Space the floor, make the extra pass, work for the open shot in the flow of our offense. We'll see if they heed that advice, Kevin. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute played. Lewis with the three. And the rebound goes to Murphy. Very little success for him behind the arc tape. Just one three-pointer in the first half and still none in the second. Nice, strong finish. Very nearly a three-point play opportunity. Yeah, when you stay aggressive, good things happen. First one falls for him. Yes. 
Second free throw, no good. Gone 0 with 3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Here's Griffin. Finds himself wide open and drills it. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. Johnson kicks to Murphy. Back to Johnson. And space. He tries off the glass, but it's no good. Gone 1 of 4 since the end of the third quarter. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Sure could, Kevin. I mean, too many empty trips. They need some points. And so here's the home team. Second minute off the clock now in the fourth. Again, the miss by Johnson. Ill advised shot selection right there, Clark. It really was. I mean, very low percentage shot there. Who is outside? Good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. And he's now got the double-double. Ten points and 18 rebounds. Gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. And here's Murphy. The feed to Johnson. Oh, good on the triple. The defense better watch out. They better be alert. Because this guy can make three, as we saw in the first half. Well, when they desperately needed to get things turned around, they were able to do it and claw their way back in. And they fed off their defense just as much as their offense in putting this run together. Gone four of eight in this fourth quarter, shooting an even 50% from the field. Passes it to Bolton. No good. That would have tied it. You can see the struggles that he's had from the field are really starting to get to him. And so he owns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. Lewis. And so he's picked up his final foul, and he will sit for the rest of this game. Both teams deciding to change it up. Come on, you can get this. The free throw drops for Murphy. And so Murphy hits him both. A nice call from three-point land. 0-4 since the start of the final quarter. Here's Nixon. Hits the three-point bomb. Boy, he's putting up big numbers in that three-point column, guys. In the fourth quarter, not pretty. Down around 29%. Feeds it to Johnson. Shoots. Fires the jumper from the corner and nails it. Fourth quarter of play and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Here's Bolton. And the three ball is good. Well, it took him a long time to get that three-point range. Maybe this will get him going. Gone three of eight here in the fourth quarter. Inside, number 11. And he drew the blocking foul. He'll go to the line for two. And he makes the first. He hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw line. But he should be looking at a three-point lead. Hopefully for them, that miss won't cost them. There's been a change in his game compared to what we saw in the first half. I mean, he's scoring with a lot of confidence now. Johnson with it. He tries for three. It's rebounded by Nixon. He's got more than 58% of their attempts to go down for them in the fourth quarter. There's seven of 12. He's off on the second. 
And that one miss could hurt them. And there's a big difference between being up one and being up two. Here's Murphy. That one rolling around and runs out. That's his comfort zone, so defensively, really nice job challenging the shot. Number four. A feather touch on the finger roll. Beautiful. Well, he recognized the advantage size-wise, and he went right at the defender. That's how you do it. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time getting lit off the basket so far. Johnson right side. He passes to Brock. He kicks it to Tony. The shot's good by making the play. This is someone that can really hurt you from long range. He did that to a degree in the first half, and he's doing it now. This is a key on. Tony with the rebound. Tony's got 11 rebounds in the game. Johnson, the pass to Tony. Back to Johnson. What's up a three? Oh. These are incredible rebounding numbers. I'm not sure if we've ever seen anything like this, Clark. Oh, that's for sure, Steve. I mean, a superhuman performance on the backboard. Well done. Boy, he really bungled that finish. Oh, the move, go! Taken away. And here's the fast break. Here's Bolton. Drops in the breakaway layup. Boy, he's having a great half here. Exactly the opposite of the first. Getting some tough luck from three-point range. In the fourth quarter, they've hit just one of six from deep. The dish now to Murphy. It's Tony on the wing. And here's Johnson outside. And the shot is good. Johnson's got nine points now in just the second half. He's gone cold at the wrong time. Struggling to score here down the stretch. Got a disappointing two of six on three-point attempts here in the fourth. Pass to Nixon. Let's it go with the three. Tony with the rebound. Can they run 29% from the floor? Tough night for them all around on the offensive end. Gives him the lead pass. Drop. Lays it up and banks it in. Well, they were sleeping on defense. The defense really didn't do its job. I mean, a little slow to react to the ball getting into the paint. That's costly. Well, and at this stage of such a tight game, I think this is when tired legs start to show. And the defense can become vulnerable in the low block. Well, he's just launching from the three-point line right now because I, I don't like his shot selection at all. Johnson outside. They double team Johnson. Brown defended by Young. Lock at six. Number 11. Misses from short range. That's the kind of defense required when he's got the ball near the hoop. And they were right in his face. And it's Young finishing it off. Showing us a little force on that putback, Kev. Well, there was no way he was going to let that chance slip away. No, sir. Now, you got to love his positioning. As the shot went up, he anticipated that play. Well, they were getting tired out there. A quick timeout gives them an opportunity to catch their breath. It's the visitors now. They trail by one. Outside Jackson. Here's Nixon. A three-pointer, no good. More good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might well tell the story. In this one. And that should tilt things toward them. I mean, they've been winning that battle. A crucial possession with time ticking down. Boy, they'd like to put themselves in front right here. And that goes out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. A nice play to get a hand on that pass and tip it out of bounds. I tell you what, guys, if he gets there a fraction earlier, that's a steal. 
Yeah, he has to be frustrated by how his offense is flowing. And I can't blame him. You know, they're getting good looks out there, but the shots just aren't falling. And that can get into a team's head if it goes unchecked, continuing to miss good shots. But this time out might be a way to combat that. Home team on D. They've led by as many as 14 points. But the wheels have just come off here in the second half. Kicks it to Jackson. Let's the three fly. And this is the game. 32% of the fourth. They're all talking a bit tight. He feeds it to Tony. A beautiful reverse move. Tony's got seven points here in this quarter. One of the sweetest moves in the game. The reverse layup in traffic. Here's the pass to Bolton. Number 12. Run against Johnson. Releases. A rebound by Young. Young's got 14. Yep, 14 rebounds for him tonight. Man. That was not a simple rebound. He made it look easy, but he did a good job in buying up his man. Back to Johnson. On deep. That is Tony. Misses from close range. Around 37% in the fourth quarter. The minutes starting to wear on that. This is it ball. Trying to break that ice cold streak. Tony with the rebound. And little to no chance of that shot going in. Yeah, that was a tough one right there. They got it back. Excellent D there from Bolton. And about 26% on goal, they need to get a better hit. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Double play to the Number 12. Off with the lane. Hey, the defense was right there, just waiting. Doing a nice job of anticipating that play. Steve, every team needs tough interior defense to be successful. So it gets them both, and it's a five-point game. Two-possession game now, guys. Some very important free throws there. Guys, what do you think? Well, they need to draw something up here. I think they'll go for a quick two. Uh, and if not, maybe break somebody free for a, a long three-pointer. And they have to know they need to foul right after the shot goes in as well. Here's Bolton. No good on the quick three. And that's an intentional foul. He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. He's able to hit the second one, and that increases their lead to six. He dishes it to Jackson. Pass to Bolton. And that goes out of bounds. And they retain possession. Jackson passes to Nixon. Knocks down the three. Johnson. Shoot that, are you? And 
Until they get the victory here at home. Well, it was tight, but the men should come up with the win. I mean, nobody wants to lose a close game, Kevin. It's much better to win those tight ones. Thanks for joining us for this presentation of NBA Basketball on 2K Sports. For Doris Burke, Steve Curry, Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying see you next time. But first, let's check out the Jordan player of the game. Hello and welcome. I'm Damon Bruce here with you as we get ready for a little NBA action on 2K Sports. Friday, hoops. And both sides on the floor getting ready for the game ahead, and it's almost that time. Welcome, sports fans. Thanks for joining us. With Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan, and it's time for NBA basketball on 2K Sports. And now a quick check of our starting lineups for both teams. And for the home team, Dishes to Brooks. Number 15. Makes it off the glass. Robert, that's what they talked about before the game. You know, getting the ball inside early. Well, it worked to perfection there. I like the game plan. Get it inside, force the defense to react, and then play off the big man. Kept the line. Number 23. Well, that was a quick foul for him there. The refs are certainly calling it close. And he draws body contact. Looked like a blocking foul, and he was uh, in the shooting motion. So he'll head to the free throw line. It's his first trip to the line. First one falls for him. Oh. 
He hits one, and this is the second attempt from the free throw line. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? We briefly spoke with the home team's head coach. He'd like them to concentrate defensively on slowing the game down. There's simply too much speed in their opponent, and to get to a run-and-gun type of game is not to their advantage, guys. All right, Doris. Well, he took that defender head-on and threw down the two-hander power jam. Straight power there, guys. Well, you gotta love his determination. Gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. Back to Brooks. It's up a three. Again, the miss by Brooks. Well, with only one attempt so far falling, this is not looking good. One for four so far. Gets it to go. Now, they're not showing too much respect for him defensively, are they? Gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time getting the lid off the basket so far. And good on the basket. Book it. Incredible. Only took them a few seconds to answer the three ball with one of their own. Let's keep this thing going, guys. I love seeing a three-point battle like this. He gets it by Wagner, and he gets it back. Gone two of five here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Brooks the pass to Simpson. Number two. Persistence pays off as they finally hit a shot. If you battle for the offensive rebound and come up with it, you're guaranteed a high-quality shot on a follow just like he got there. Three-pointer. Tries again. Oh, that's good. I don't know if it's just me, but he's looked a step slow since the start of the quarter. He's shooting a little something. Passes it to Wagner. Brooks outside. Well, good with the triple. Gone just one of four from three-point range here in the first. Number four, defended by Wagner. Number four. Oh, good off the back of the rim. He's going to play his way right onto the bench and out of the game if he continues to shoot it like he has so far in this quarter. Oh, he's going to keep banging those home if you give him that much space. Thing in the early going here, pretty dreadful, 22%. Inside, stolen by Brooks. And they're pushing him. Now about three minutes down in the first quarter. No good from Wagner. Oh, that's got to be deflating and disappointing to miss a wide open shot like that right in your will. Boy, he has been struggling mightily in this quarter, guys. True. He really seems to have tightened up a bit for whatever reason. He's, he looks tight. Just cannot find the rhythm. Still yet to hit a shot this quarter. And here's the fast break. Brooks, the pass to Simpson. No good from outside. To end the run. Shot is up. He's killing them with his poor shooting. The defense is more than willing to give him those shots now. Here's Wagner. This is the wing jump. And his mechanics are just all out of whack now. He just has no feel for his shot. Well, his numbers certainly back that fact up. I mean, he has gone ice cold here. That's a pretty good finish to a very shaky offensive possession. Back to Brooks. Pass to Wagner. Takes the three. No luck. He's yet to make an impact from the field, but his team is taking care of business. Wide open. And play stops as it looks like they call him over the back here. Well, he's boxed out, and when that happens, you know, at some point you have to just turn and get back defensively. That time he went right over the top. Yeah, but you go straight on the top of another player's back, that's going to be a foul call every time. Number two. They get on the triple. Gone just one of four from three point range here in the first. Uncovered. Hey, 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 hey. Off the front island. Most of the time, that shot will go down. Where the defenders have to make sure they tag. On the wing, Brooks. Out target from the wing. There's no getting around the simple fact that that's a shot he has to knock down. Number 14. And unable there to get the go-ahead bucket. That's terrific defense right there to prevent 
from converting in close. And that one's good. Brooks. Brooks has got six. Excellent ball movement there, guys. Yeah, I think that's what's keyed this run, Clark, because they're keeping the ball moving. The defense hasn't been able to set up. Well, he's watching his club miss a lot of shots that they normally make, and that has to be frustrating. So uh, I think he's going to call this time out just to try to see if they can be more aggressive, get them to the free throw line. Here. Sometimes that's the best solution for them, but ultimately I think they'll be able to shoot themselves out of this slump. But in the meantime, maybe getting to the free throw line will help. Brooks has gone 2 of 5 from three-point land. Clark, some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, they need a basket just to regain some momentum here, Kevin. Number 14. And a foul caught on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. from three-point range today. Barbecue chicken. <laughs> Clark, you know me. I love barbecue chicken. I'm more of a baked chicken guy myself, but that's fine. Whatever. <laughs> Clark, where'd we get this guy? <laughs> Kevin, you love anything. I've not seen anything come in front of you that's food that you haven't devoured. <laughs> Here's Simpson. Brooks. Again, the miss by Brooks. If he can improve on what's been a shaky day for him thus far, they could stretch this lead out. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. And a lowly 30% to start this game out. Fancy about that play. Just good hard nose basketball to haul in the board. Number two. Oh, the ball is off the mark. Now Brooks. Ten points in the game so far. Number five. Took it from outside. Gotten just two of six to fall from three point range so far in the shot. That's blocked. And it ends up out of bounds. They'll keep possession. On defense, the home team. Four point oh. game. He has not been on his game. And, you know, their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not helped the situation. Back to Brooks. Launches a three. Oh. No good. Rebounding is going to be the focal point for them in this one, fellas. I can feel it. Yeah, it's a physical game, and so far the numbers show that they've got the edge on the glass. And little to no chance of that shot going in. Yeah, that was a tough one right there. Let's it go. That one a little long. Not a good look at the hoop. They've got to do a better job offensively creating some space. Zero. No luck. Number five, defended by Wilkins. Nice shot by Brooks. This switch has definitely been flipped to on this quarter, guys. Clark, they've been looking out of sync offensively. You know what? Basket here would do a lot for their confidence. You know, he's got a quick trigger from that range when he senses that the defense has backed off. Let's it go from deep. Number 23, the basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Tough play. He had to fight his way all the way to the rim.
and he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. One forty-one left to play here in the first. Back to Wilkins. On deep. Come on, back to now, man. Shot misses. Almost surprised that he had that much room to work with. Number five. Traps in the train. You know, they've really built the lead on their inside game and their ability to convert second chance opportunities, Kevin. Again, the strong inside game and the second chance points quickly becoming a factor. Kevin, it's absolutely the biggest factor in the game right now. One sixteen left here in the opening quarter. Pass to Wilkins. Hope they get it back. A three ball. Another miss by Wilkins. He's going to have to find the range. He has not scored in this quarter. Outside, Davis. Shot clock at six. Fires the three. Good. Six points for him. These defenders are putting up very little resistance to the three-point shot. And it's killing him. That's four of the last five baskets they've allowed have been three-pointed. Gets it to go. I'm not sure who was supposed to pick him up, but somebody's going to get an earful from the coach for leaving him that wide open. Now eight seconds separate in the two clocks. They brought that in in no time at all. They still have a lot of time to get back into this game. But they've got to do a better job of limiting the second chance points. He kicks to Wilkins. Here's the point. Kevin, not a single point in this quarter for him. Obviously, not what they need right now. He's got the score. Number 11. No luck. The defense better not make a habit of giving him that shot. I mean, he doesn't miss many of them. And as we conclude the first quarter, a one-sided game so far. The home team, they lead by 12. Stay with us as we get set to bring you the second quarter right after this. Welcome back, folks. We'll see if we're in store for a more tightly contested quarter as we move here into the second. They've done a nice job on the offensive boards here, guys, and I think that was the difference in that first quarter, really pounding the offensive glass. Well, they set the tone early with their mindset, their tenacity, and their hustle. I mean, that's the way they've come out, and it's um, served them well. Deflected. Watch him, watch him, watch him. He dishes it to Wilkins. Three-pointer. No good. Being about 35% from the floor. Not much falling for them. The Trey. Wilkins grabs the miss. Front pass the arc. And it's blocked. Steps back and shoots. Misses off the right iron. Got 0 2 from deep here in the second. Lets it fly. The footprint is no good. Gone two for five tonight. Zero. The quick look no good that time. Gone 0-3 and are still looking for that first bucket here in the second quarter. Zero. From out in the ring, he knocks it down. Quarter number two with just over a minute gone. Number five, defended by Wilkins, passes to Wagner. Zero. Brings it from beyond the arc. They're getting a bunch of their points outside of the paint. Three of their last five buckets are from three-point range. But the defense isn't making them earn it. I mean, those shots have just come on easy, open looks. Wilkins can't get it to go. 
trailing here in the game, you can look at his performance as a direct indicator of why they're losing. The shot's good from Wagner. That's two bombs in a row from long range. Yeah, shoddy defense there. Far too slow to react on the closeout. No good as the wing jumper. Number 15. No good. Gone two or three when they've stepped beyond the arc in the second quarter. But three. They get the rebound. Wagner. And there's the rejection. Number two. And they recover it. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. second. Gone only two of seven from the field since the second quarter got underway. Pass to Wagner. Number two. Number 15. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. Some big time power on that put back. Now you got to admire the perseverance, don't you? He worked for that one so hard. Went after it. Yeah, that's what offensive rebounding is all about, Kevin. Anticipation and grinding for those second chances. It's Wilkins on the win. Intercepted. Now the pass to Wagner. From downtown, shot is no good. He's trying to shoot his way out of it, guys, and as long as they're in the lead, he's going to continue to try to find his rhythm. And he throws it down hard with one hand. Up strong off the offensive rebound. What a play. They can cut this lead down if they start converting more of their second points. I'm with you there. Yeah, but you wonder where were those earlier? They're just hustling more now. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Good, good, Kevin. I mean, too many empty trips. They need some points. Thing in the second quarter has been pretty embarrassing, just 27%. Simpson, the pass to Wagner. That's the Mark Hill with the three point shot. Gone 0 or 3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. Mark Tracker with his three. Guys, they have a really solid lead at this point. You know, definitely that's the case. I mean, there hasn't been much resistance at all. For three, can't hit. Well, most games he can knock it down from deep, but it just isn't there in the next one. Gets off the fast break with a monster slam. Too little, too late from the deep. Give him credit for trying anyway. Great job he did getting through him and up to the rim. Yeah, now that was aggressive, and that's exactly what I like to see. Number 15. Great look, but off the mark. Number four. Number three. It's rebounded by Wagner. He'll pass it to Simpson. The shot. Number 15. No good. Down low. Number three. And you know that's going to be goaltending, guys. So that's a free basket right there. He thought he had that one clean, but the ref saw it differently. They'll count the basket. Now you can tell what the crowd thinks about that call. Yeah, they erupted as soon as the whistle blew. a low, low 30% right now on ugly Hell offensive yeah. performance. Number 15. Got him with the pump fake, but couldn't finish. Being a ref 22% so far in this one. There's the steal. Number two. Offline with his three. Boy, but he was close, Kevin, to making the defense pay for lackadaisical coverage there. Yeah, he had a really good run. He'll knock that down more often than not. I really like the fact that he's getting the touches he needs here after not scoring a single point in that first quarter. 
Well, I, I felt like his defense was letting him down out there, guys. So he wanted to get a timeout to talk it over and try to tighten things up here. You know, a part of coaching, a lot of coaching, actually, is making sure that momentum never gets too far away from your team. That's a good timeout. It's been several possessions since they've converted. Uh, they've got to find a way to change that. Passes it to Wagner. Number 15. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Yeah, the defender draped all over him. Pretty plain and simple. Got him good there. This is his first free throw of the game. That free throw missing. So he comes up empty, missing both. Got nothing but zeros from long range in the second quarter. Oh, a four. Plenty of space. Good as the jump shot falls. He's got eight. What a great little run he's on here in the quarter. Back to Brooks. Pass to Simpson. Here's Wagner. And it's off from three-point range. Being 33% in the second quarter. The offense is left crossed up and confused at times. Being a terrible 27% from the floor. Boy, an off night for them to say the least. No good from Simpson. That's his comfort zone. So defensively, really nice job challenging the shot. Number three. Hooked away. Multiple possessions have been the story of the game, and even with the big lead, this team continues to be quicker to the ball. The three. That's good. He's got six. Boy, they are passing the ball very crisply right now. They sure are. That's three straight buckets that have come off of assists. Drew contact on the shot. It's his first trip to the line. You, you have it, baby, yeah. And the first one drops. second quarter a little more banging going on this team is never afraid to get physical i think they enjoy this style of play looking at back on track here shot is off looks like he's lost his focus a little bit not playing well in this quarter number two number 15 goes up again he lays it in 10 points for him well it looks like he's finally found his footing in this game his first quarter was uh, a real struggle, but he's got it going now. Yeah, he has to be frustrated by how his offense is flowing. I, mean, I can't blame him. You know, they're getting good looks out there, but the shots just aren't falling. And that can get into a team's head if it goes unchecked, continuing to miss good shots. So this timeout might be a way to combat that.
gotten into trouble with the three ball in the second quarter. Only hitting one of five attempts. Number four. No good from the win. Now bad timing. His team trailing, and this has not been a quarter that he'd like to remember. Passes it to Wagner. It's it away. He shoot again. Can't get the layup. Not too much congestion in the lane. I think he could have gotten a better shot that time. No question. No one more. Can't get it to go. You know, he's so confident, sometimes to a fault. And that shows right there. That's a bad shot. Exactly. I mean, that's self-inflicted damage right there. A lot better option than what he took. in the first half. Number 14. And they get it. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give them two chances at the free throw line here. Their free throw attempts have really fallen off here in the second quarter. Not as aggressive. Yeah, if they want to avoid going into the half with this deficit, they need to stop settling for these long jump shots and attack the rim. No good on that one. This second. 141 left to play here in the half. Pass to Simpson. Back to Brooks. Number two. The offensive rebound. Missed himself. You're around 24%. Not a good showing here. Number four. These are incredible rebounding numbers. I'm not sure if we've ever seen anything like this, Clark. Oh, that's for sure, Steve. I mean, a superhuman performance on the backboard. Well done. A minute 20 left in the first half of the game. Number two carries it from three-point range. He has five. That's pretty much been the norm for them. Getting their points off assists and great ball movement. Nice rhythm and flow for this team. Tremendous communication and alertness. That touch. And that kind of defense is just not going to cut it. Guys, they have to get a hand in his face. In just 28%, they are offensively out of whack and out of step with each other at this point. And they push in right away with the quick shot. Gotten goals and deep in the second quarter, just two or six from long range. Hey, hey, switch, the switch, pick. Switch, switch. Oh, Number 14. They get on the three. It's a plus five advantage for them in the rebounding category after that board. Very steady work they've been doing on the interior, no question. And that's, uh, I think, the main reason they have this lead. And the offense is getting right to the rim, but at least they saved the layup with the foul. That's old school basketball rules. I mean, at the end of the day, no easy layup. Earn it from the line. And he can't get the first one. He's off on the second. He gets 29% in the second quarter. The offense is suffering. Number two. This is the three. Not able to find it here in the second. He's off stride and off track just a bit after that one he had early. Three pointer. Brooks. That is good. Brooks has got 14. Keeping up the pressure here. I like that. When you have a lead, don't let up. Yeah, this game could be over soon if they keep pounding it the way they are. To the middle, number two. And he drops in the way up off the glass. He's got seven. They've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball into the paint. Yeah, they've been the aggressors, Clark. Getting the ball inside, into that lane area has been huge for them. And that concludes the first half. The home team leading by 14. And coming up after the break, it'll be Damon Bruce breaking down all the highlights from the first half of play. And now, brought to you by Sprint. Happy Tuesday to all of you from us at 2K Sports. I'm Damon Bruce. The home team is on a tear right now. 
And look at all those rejections, erasing easy looks, just making it hard around the rim. On the other side, the away team not off to a great start. They haven't been able to get their shots to fall, ice cold from the field. And that's it for us here in the studio. Time to send it on back out to Kevin Harlan and the gang for the start of the second half. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. And as we welcome you back, we begin our second half. So far, not a tightly contested game, guys, but, you know, anything can happen. What a game we're seeing from Brooks. Well, the threes have been falling for him at a ridiculous rate. The first half was just amazing. And when that's the case here in the second, I think he's just got to keep spraying and splashing. Number 14. They get it again. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. good well it seems like they're having a lot of trouble at the line today and uh, it's just been that kind of a day and so he's able to get one of two you know so many games are decided by which team wins the rebound battle and that's held true in this one so far steve and even if it's only a modest advantage that they have in that category it's still a significant factor I'm not sure that was the play they had set up, but it was too good a look to pass it. Number three, defended by Simpson. And this is the lead. Being only 31%, their offense really struggling to put possessions together. Number two, off target from three point range. Number four. It's rebounded by Wagner. And offensively, they have yet to hit a shot. Slow start here in the second half. Well, that's another good rebound for him. Hasn't mattered at all that he's given up some inches to a few of the other guys on the floor. Shoots. Releases from the wing and drills it. He's got nine. That one goes down. But offensively, just one of four to start the third quarter. Number two. That drops and it comes off an assist from Brooks. And he's now got the double double. Ten points and 11 rebounds. Number four. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. One for five on offense. A slow start here in the second half. And here's the fast break. And he jams it with authority. Textbook example there of how to use defense to create offense. Yeah, beautiful transition play after the steal all the way to the basket. There's no time going from defense to offense. Yeah, it feels like they're starting to pick up the intensity as the game itself starts to get a little more tight and close. First free throw is good. Both free throws good from Wagner. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. This one for three gets it to go. Ten points for him. on two of four here to start the second half. Pulls it up. Good shot there, and it's off target. Gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Number two, and he's good on the three ball. 
They got on this roll a while ago, and they just haven't looked back. Gone two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. And there's the pass to Simpson. And the wing jumper off one. Gone an even 50% to the floor here in the third quarter. Four of eight. Good on the shot, and that shaves the lead to single digits. Boy, the shot's finally dropping for them in bunches, and I'll tell you what, the complexion of this game has totally changed. You know, that kind of offensive eruption was the only thing that was going to get them back into this one. No good from Wagner. Gone five of nine on field goal attempts since halftime. Here's the three. It's rebounded by Wagner. From the pretty brutal 29% since the break. Feeds it to Brooks. Whoops, they pick off the pass. Number three. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. You know, even from here, you could see that one pretty clearly. Yep, pretty obvious. And a good call by the official. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And that one misses. Good. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Pass to Wagner. From outside the arc. Can't get it to go. Put that nigga ass in the dirt. We've seen them struggle on the half-court offense. Yeah, they seem to be disorganized to me, guys. I mean, I don't see no rhythm no Steve, yeah. you're nodding your head. You agree? Yeah, totally. When you don't get out on the break, Kevin, all of a sudden the game slows down, and if you don't get ball movement and player movement and find that half-court rhythm and pace, you're in some trouble. And the home team has possession. On the arc. Can't get it to go. They've been doing a great job of sharing the ball. Excellent display of team play. Steven, are you love a great teamwork? Yeah, so much fun to watch when the ball is moving. And there's kind of a, a rhythm to the game that just happens. The ball moves almost on its own, Kevin. It's fun to watch. Since in the past, the wagon. Number five gets the three-pointer to five. 11 points in the game. So it's the visitors now. They trail by 11. Jacks up a three, and that one's good. He can be dangerous from outside. Sure, he didn't get one to go in the first, but we know he can get on the roll and knock him down. Fires for three.